so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Reporting live from Hawaii Children's Discovery Center in Honolulu, Hawaii. Wow, what a beautiful day. Aloha, it's me, Blippi, and today we have a special report. Yeah, on jobs and professions. Are you excited to learn about jobs and professions? Me too, let's go. <laughs> Do you hear that? Yeah, that's a siren. There must be a fire around here, come on. Whoa! Yeah, we need to act like a firefighter so then we can put out the fire! Okay, yeah, check it out! Yeah, my firefighting hat! Whoa! And then you would wear these clothes to help protect you. Oh, and look at the fire truck! Wow, do you see this ladder? Yeah, that's how firefighters climb really high! Yeah, they use ladders! Wow, I love fire trucks! Oh, and look down here! This is where you connect the water to the fire truck. You know where you connect it from? Yeah, a fire hydrant. Whoa, cool. But this fire hydrant actually has a hose connected to it. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, yeah. I'm spraying so much water. Wow, firefighters love to spray water. Yeah, because then it puts out the fire. Yeah. That's on the building. All right, let's put this back. There we go. And then what we need to do is we need to drive the fire truck. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, yeah, whoa. I love driving fire trucks. Whoa, they're so big. Whoa, and the sirens. Yeah, and the lights. Wow, being a firefighter would be so cool because you know you get to help so many people. Whoa, all right. <laughs> oh, check this out over here. All right, here we go. Perfect. Now that the lug nuts are off, we can remove the wheel and tire. You know what shape this is? Yeah, a circle. All right, let's go replace it with this brand new one over here. All right, wow, a nice brand new one. And then we need three lug nuts. One, two, three. Wow, that last tire was flat, but this one is nice and pumped up. All right, let's put it right here. Ooh, being a mechanic is hard work. <laughs> All right, let's start the lug nuts just like this. All right, there's one. Here's two, and then the last one. So what you do is you barely put it on, just with your hands like that. And then you take this, and this tightens them up. Wow, that was so much fun acting like a car mechanic. Wow, shall we keep exploring? Let's go. Whoa, your town bank. Yeah, many towns have banks. Let's go act like we're a bank teller. <laughs> bank tellers sit down right here and then wait for people to deposit or to take out money. You can act like one of those people. Oh, hello, how can I help you? Oh, you would like some money? All right, hold on, let me access your account. Here you go. <laughs> Have a good day. Wow, I love acting like a bank teller. All right, I'll be right over. Whoa, hey, now I can act like I'm a worker. Yeah, at just a store. Yeah, and I just went to the bank. Now I gotta go to my job. All right, yeah, I'm a grocery worker. Whoa, yeah, also known as a grocer. <laughs> All right, I'm at work now. <laughs> oh, come into the grocery store. Whoa! Shall we get some groceries? Oh, yeah! How about some peaches? What a yummy fruit. <laughs> Ooh, and pineapple. Wow, I love pineapple. It is so sweet. Such a yummy fruit. Yeah, and they grow a lot on Hawaii, which is one of our states in America. Okay, I think this is enough. Wait, maybe we should get a vegetable. Oh, yeah, like a head of lettuce? Okay, ooh, and some pears, yum! 
Maybe we should go check out. Yeah, so then I can act like a cashier at a grocery store. All right, we have some peaches. We have green beans. Ooh, the pineapple. Okay, a couple more. Woo, and we have the pears. <laughs> yeah, very healthy. And we also grabbed the lettuce. <laughs> also very healthy. All right, and your total. Whoa, that's a big number. <laughs> cool. And the person that bags all these up is the courtesy clerk. So then they can give you the groceries that you got and then you can go home. Well, it's the end of my shift. So maybe I'll go explore and see what other professions and jobs we can find. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa, I need to mail off this letter. All right, see you later. <laughs> Have a fun journey. <laughs> Wait a second. Post office workers are very important. They make sure mail and packages go from one location to the next. What a challenging job that is. But hey, why don't you and I act like a post office worker? <laughs> All right, first things first, we have to dress like one. Check out my hat, yeah, keeps the sun out from my face while walking around town picking up the mail. Oh, and then I'll wear this shirt. Yeah, now I'm looking like a post office worker, right? Yeah, the best post office in the world is me. And my name's Sean. <laughs> All right, and look at this. This is what I collect my mail in. All right, let's walk over here and Let's open this up. Whoa, look at all those letters. All right, let me collect them. All right, and as the post office worker, now we need to take them inside and put them in the bag. All right, here we go. Whoa, now I look official, right? All right, so let's put them in the bag and then we can deliver them around town, across the country or the world. Wow, what an important job that is, right? I know, anything physical that goes from point A to point B, yeah, is gonna be delivered as a post office worker if you send it in the mail. Wow, hey, and here it is. Yeah, the veterinarian's office needs their mail. Here it is. <laughs> All right, you folks enjoy. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun acting like a post office worker. And speaking of fun jobs, why don't you and I act like a veterinarian? Wow, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, check it out. Now we're in the vet's office. Yeah, vet is short for veterinarian. Oh, and check it out. This is what they wear. Yeah, doesn't it look like a nurse? or a doctor's outfit? Yeah, because that's what they do, but they do that for animals. Wow, what an important and fun job. Oh, speaking of fun. Oh, hey kitty, hey kitty, meow, meow, meow. Oh, so cute. Why are you here? Oh, you're here because you have an upset stomach? Oh, well, I'll help you out. Oh, and do you have a dog friend? Oh, look at the dog friend. Oh, they love playing with each other. Whoa. All right, let's help the kitty out. All right, let's put the kitty right here. Oh, and then it looks like we have, wow. Look at this. And look at this. And look at this. A lot of tools that veterinarians use. Okay, there we go. Looking inside the ears, the eyes, the nose. What else do we have here? Whoa, these don't look like they're for kitties. <laughs> well, we won't use those. I definitely will use this though. Let's see here. Okay, here you go, kitty. Oh, how does that feel? Oh, we helped the kitty. Now its tummy feels a lot better. Okay, we'll put the kitty right over here. Oh, and check out these. Yeah, do you know what these are? Yeah, dog bones. Dogs love these. Remember our friend from earlier? <laughs> Let's see if he wants one. Hey, doggy, here you go. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun acting like a veterinarian. Wow, I sure do love different types of jobs. They're so fun. Whoa, 
wasn't that so much fun? I know, I had a great time. And hey, did you know a TV reporter is another job and profession? Yeah, they talk about the weather, they talk about the news. Hey, yeah, the news today is we had so much fun! <laughs> wow, isn't it cool how different jobs do different things in town to make things run? And every job is very important. Great, I wonder what you're going to be when you grow up. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? <laughs> B-L-I. P-P-I, Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, aloha. <laughs>
Whoa, and Eartha, since you're a goalkeeper, is there another stretch we should do? Yeah, let's stretch our arms. Oh yeah, we want to block those soccer balls <laughs> or those footballs. <laughs> okay, here we go. Count with us. One, two, three, four, five. And now again. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Whoa, feeling really loose. I think I'm ready to play some football. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's ready. go. Okay, come on. <laughs> well, I'm having a lot of fun playing football today, and I want to learn more about being a goalkeeper. <laughs> so, Eartha, where do you stand on the pitch? I stand right in the middle of that goal there. Whoa, check it out. Do you see the goal? <laughs> yeah, that big white goal is where Eartha stands. So if anyone tries to kick the football in, you stop it, right? That's it. <laughs> well, do you think I can stand out there and try to block a ball? I think maybe we should start with this goal, Blippi. Cool! <laughs> Whoa, check it out! <laughs> it's a little goal! And looks like a pretty good goal to start learning. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, what's the first thing I need to learn to be a goalkeeper? I think you should learn how to catch the ball first. Okay, well, I think I can catch a ball just like this, right? Well, not quite. You want your hands to make a W shape behind the ball. Or like that? Just like that, so the ball can't go through. Oh yeah, if you catch it like this, the ball might go right through. They could make a point. <laughs> well, let's practice. Whoa! <laughs> Good Stop job. in the ball. <laughs> well, Eartha, let's try a really long pass. Okay. You gotta stop the ball. Here we go. Woo! Good job. <laughs> okay. Whoa! <laughs> That's fun. Good job, Blippi. <laughs> yeah, I think being a goalkeeper sounds really fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, what happens if I try to block it and it goes between my legs? I can't really catch it down there. Well, that's when you make what's called a K block, like Ooh. this. Okay, and you put your knee down so the ball can't go through, right? Exactly. Okay, well, do you want to try to throw it into the goal and I'll stop it? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, Good yeah, job. that's really handy. <laughs> try again. Whoa, we stopped it. And one last time. <gasps> good Whoa. job. That was awesome. Well done. <laughs> well, I feel like I'm really turning into a good goalkeeper now. <laughs> but I think I need a little more practice. In time. <laughs> well, thanks so much for teaching me. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Well, I've been having a lot of fun learning all about football. Um, you said that your role was a defender, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Well, where do you stand on the field? So I stand on the left side because I'm actually a left back. Oh, a left back. Oh, that's cool. So what does a left back do? So my first role is to defend, but I can also attack which means helping score goals as well. Whoa, that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, I think one of the most exciting parts is kicking the football and scoring a goal. <laughs> well, do you think there are some drills you could teach me so I could get a little better? Yeah, of course. Okay. Let's do the dribbling session. Oh, a dribbling session? Let's do it. Okay. Let's go. Could you show me first? Maybe you try it and then I'll copy. Of course. So outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, and keep going. Whoa, check it out. Oh, Taylor, you are really good at keeping control of the ball and passing through all the cones. <laughs> now it's your turn. <gasps> okay. <laughs> well, maybe you can help me in case I kick it too hard. But of course. I think we can do it. So outside, inside, outside, outside inside. inside. And keep it as close to your foot as you can. Okay. I'm going to keep it close to my feet. Outside, inside, outside, inside. <laughs> Here we go. Outside, outside inside. inside. Oh, whoa. whoa. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this takes a lot of practice. <laughs> That's it. Whoop. Nice. Whoa, whoa. You nearly whoa. there. Outside, inside, yeah. outside, inside. <laughs> nice. Whoa, Taylor, you make that look really easy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I definitely need some more practice. Ooh, hey, and you said that you also sometimes attack. Yeah, you kick the ball towards the goal. You think we could try a passing or a kicking exercise? Yeah, of course, let's go. Okay, well, you stand on that side. Whoa. I'll stand over here and we'll pass the football. <laughs> here we go. Nice. Whew. And again. Whoa, nice. We want to make it through these orange cones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ready? Nice. Do you think we can try a little closer? Let's test ourselves. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Ready? Nice. Whoa. And even closer. <laughs> This is gonna be really hard. 
Yay! Yeah, we did it! Whoa, that was really fun! <laughs> that was a lot of hard work, but it takes a lot of practice to get good, right? It does. <laughs> practice makes perfect. Uh, <laughs> practice makes perfect! <laughs> well, I'll see you later. Bye, Bye Taylor. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome! I had so much fun practicing and learning how to be a football player. <laughs> well, since you both showed me how to play football, you mind if I show you how to dance? Of course. <laughs> Let's do it! Woo! Good job dancing. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having me here at Anfield <laughs> and for teaching me all those cool drills. It was our pleasure. Aww. And don't forget to practice. Okay. <laughs> See you soon. Bye, Bye Taylor. Bye, Eartha. See Bye. You. See you soon. <laughs> wow. Can you believe that? I got to play football with professional football players here in Liverpool. <laughs> oh, that was really fun. But you know what? I think Taylor had a point. I need to do some more practice. Come on. Oh, pitch is amazing! <laughs> and I had so much fun with you today. We learned all about football, got to practice with professional football players Taylor Hines and Eartha Cummings, <laughs> and I even got my very own Liverpool football kit. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I! -P -P -I. Flippy! Good job! <laughs> well, I'm gonna go practice some more, and then maybe one day I'll come back to watch a game! Woohoo! <laughs> hey! It's me, Flippy! Hi, and I'm Mika! <laughs> and today we're here at the New York Fire Museum in New York City, New York! <laughs> yep, New York City is a really big city with a ton of people mm -hmm. in it! And it's so loud! <laughs> <laughs> That's right! <laughs> And firefighters have a very dangerous job of putting out fires. So they have a lot of training they have to do before they become firefighters. Whoa! Firefighters are so cool! Yeah! They're the real heroes! Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> and they help put out fires and save people! <laughs> They're just awesome! They really are! Let's go in and explore! Okay, come on! <laughs> oh. Let me check it out! Look! <laughs> Whoa, look at these! Whoa, Whoa. these are Fire alarms! Yeah! Fire alarms are really important because it's a way you can tell firefighters there's a fire! Emergency! <laughs> yeah, maybe you've seen a fire alarm in the building that you live in or in a school. They're mm -hmm. usually a lot smaller than this. Really tiny! <laughs> but these are so big! They're so big and they're all around the city! Yeah! In New York City, on the street, you might see one of these. Yeah! Let's check it out! Whoa! Lift this up and you pull this down and it sends an alarm to the fire station so that they can come and put out the fire. <laughs> yeah, and look, there's a number on it. Yep. One, one, three. Ooh, and mine has one too. Nine, three, seven. Oh, what do those mean? <laughs> yeah, if you pull this fire alarm, this number helps the firefighters know where to go. Yeah, in the firehouse, the fire station, <laughs> a bell would ring nine times, it would ring three times, and it would ring seven times. So wow. the firefighters know where to go. That's so cool. And you can still use these today. You can? Yeah, they still work? That's right. Even though they're kind of old. Yeah, they still work. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Whoa, and they're made out of metal. Yeah, nice and sturdy. Yeah, this one's so pretty. Oh, it looks so old, like Rockefeller Center. You're right. So beautiful. <laughs> that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Speaking of fighting fires, I wonder what firefighters used to wear. Oh, well, I'm glad you asked because 
I see something over here. Come on. Whoa, no way. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Whoa. Yep. See. Oh, Flippy. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Yeah, firefighter jacket. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, you should try this on, Glippy. Oh, oh, no way! It's a New York City fire helmet! Yep. Whoa! Look, these are so important because they're nice and hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, to protect the firefighter's head. Whoa, and look, it has a number on it. Do you see? A three and a zero. The number is 30. Yeah, and look, it has this big, Mm, looks like, kind of like a patch. Yeah. yeah. It's the color black. Yeah, oh. I wonder why some helmets are red and some are black. Oh, yeah, because they have different vehicles. <laughs> oh. If it's the color black, then it's a fire engine. But mm, let's say it's the color red, then it would be a fire truck. <laughs> oh, Whoa. and a fire truck has a ladder on it, right? Yeah, that's right. And a fire engine has a really big hose. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, let's try it on. Okay. Here we go. How does it feel? Whoa. Whoa. Is it I, heavy? It's so heavy. Whoa. 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 Look. And, hmm. Oh, I have goggles. Yeah, you have double protection. Yeah. Glasses and goggles. Whoa. Or a shield, I guess. A shield. Whoa. Look. It also Whoa. protects my hair and my eyes from any really hot, hot fire. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> super important for firefighters to protect themselves when they're fighting fires. Mm -hmm. You can also wear this jacket, Flippy. Whoa. Whoa. I'm starting to look and feel like a real firefighter now. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. These Check jackets are so important because they protect you and they're made out of fireproof material. Oh, fireproof? Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Yeah, it helps so that firefighters don't get too hot when they're really close to the fire. Yeah. <laughs> fire resistance. Yeah. <laughs> And this is a firefighter jacket, too. Whoa. Oh, oh, I put my arm through the wrong hole. Oh, that's OK. <laughs> there you go. Whoa, that's good. Oh, and why, why would you wear one of these jackets? Now, this you would wear if you're going to a nice event or maybe marching in a parade. Oh, I love parades. Yeah, me too. Whoa. <laughs> 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 yeah. Whoa. Firefighters are awesome. Yeah. Look, <laughs> and sometimes firefighters get a little chilly, so they just need to wear a regular jacket. Yeah. So, they have jackets like this. Yeah. Whoa, and look, it has a really cool patch. Whoa. Yeah, it says City of New York. <laughs> yeah, because that's where we are. Yep. Whoa, <laughs> this is pretty cool. Yeah. Learning all about the things that firefighters need to fight fires. Yeah, <laughs> let's keep exploring. I really want to find a fire truck. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Whoa. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> wow. Whoa. It looks like this is the very first fire engine. <laughs> That's right, and look how small it is. Yeah, you see, it's so small. Yep, oh. and this. Whoa. Whoa. What's this, it's a big pole? Yeah. Oh, whoa, it's so big. <laughs> yeah, oh, hey. I think it goes up there. Oh, you're right. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, look. Oh, and I think one goes on the other side. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. You got it? I think I got it. Look. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, easy, Whoa. easy. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Whoa, check it out. Yeah. These posts would go on either side. <laughs> yeah. And two people would pump it on either side to help the fire hose work. Yep, it took some serious teamwork. Yeah. The hose pump would connect to this part right here and they would pump up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. <laughs> yeah. And Blippi, do you know what this is? Whoa. <laughs> no, what is that? It's so loud because it's the first fire siren. Yeah. Whoa, it's so loud. Yeah, isn't that cool? Ooh. Can I give it a try? Yeah, of course. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, the firefighters would use this to make sure that everyone knew there's a fire. You need to be careful. Yeah. Oh, Whoa. Whoa. and what are oh. these buckets for? These are really sturdy, cool buckets. <laughs> yeah. Everyone in the neighborhood would have one so that they could help put out the fire. Oh, yeah. I think it was called the Bucket Brigade. That's right, the Bucket Brigade. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Put out the fire with this because back then they didn't have fire extinguishers. And sometimes it was hard to get hoses around to the right spot. 
Yep. Woo. Everyone would just work together. Yeah. Teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, and Mika, what's that over there? Whoa. Check this out. <gasps> oh, look how big this wheel is. Whoa, it's so big. It's almost as big as you. I know. Look. It's almost as big as me. <laughs> wow. Oh, check it out. This looks like another fire engine. Hmm. Yeah. But this one doesn't have those hand cranks. No. Or the pumps. <laughs> no. No, this looks like it used steam. Yeah. Steam? Huh. Kind of worked like a kettle. Whoa. Maybe you've seen one of these before in your Ooh. kitchen. <laughs> yeah. If you want a cup of tea, you can just boil some water and steam comes out the top. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So that's what firefighters would use to put out the fire. Steam. Yeah. Steam can be very powerful. Yeah, okay. and very hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they would make a fire to put out a fire? What? Make a fire to put out a fire? <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> Ooh. And would they use this? Yes, they would use this coal. They'd burn the coal, start a fire right in here. Ooh. So imagine that this is like a giant kettle. Yeah. <laughs> Had water in here, fire down below. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it would boil, boil. <laughs> <laughs> and then the steam would help to make the hose work. Yeah. Yep. It would turn all these gears and all the parts of the machinery. <laughs> yeah. And then would make the hose work. Ooh, and look, there's a fire hose. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. This Ooh. is awesome. Well, I'm going to go put up the kettle. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good idea. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Oh, and did you know cool. that horses would pull this? Oh, yeah, because back then, they didn't have vehicles that could drive like today. No, they needed horses to help. That's so, great. Yeah, they yeah. would take care of them, too. Oh, <laughs> look out. I think this thing's on. Oh! Whoa! 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 <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, look Whoa. at this. There's another fire engine. <laughs> Wow, this one's even bigger. It's oh. so big. <laughs> yeah, oh. they just keep getting bigger and bigger with time. Oh, Mika, huh? hmm, there's a rope here. You want to pull it? Sure, I don't see a sign saying that I can't pull it. Yeah, I think we can do it. <laughs> what? Whoa, did you hear that? Whoa, Whoa! that's a really loud bell. Really loud. Oh, oh. I see it up there. Yeah, you see it? Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna try. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's awesome! Yeah! Whoa. Now we have sirens, but back then they would use a loud bell so people knew that there was a fire and that a fire engine was coming through. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this! This fire engine doesn't look like it needed horses. Nope. It has wheels and tires, just like a modern day one. <laughs> and look, a steering wheel! Yeah! This engine actually had an engine. Whoa. Yeah, you've probably seen a steering wheel before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this. Whoa, what's hmm. that? Well, only one way to find out. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's a siren. Yeah, it would tell people that there's a fire. Yeah, oh. now sirens sound like <laughs> But not back then. No, they sounded a lot different. Yeah, <laughs> loud noises are important to let people know that something very important is happening and to be careful and get out of the way. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was pretty fun <laughs> learning about all these vehicles. Hey, maybe we could see some more fire engines. Maybe even a fire truck. Yeah, oh, I hope so. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Check out this fire truck. Whoa, what kind of truck is this? Hmm, it's really big hmm. and it looks like there are ladders on it. Yeah. Hey, this is a killer ladder truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool. See the big ladders. Oh, it's so <laughs> big. Yeah. Why wouldn't they need ladders? So that they can climb up to the top of buildings. <laughs> yeah. And to really high places to put out the fire. Yep. That's right. And if you look behind you there, Blippi, here's an old fire extinguisher. Whoa. Yeah. Fire extinguishers are definitely helpful for putting out fires, too. Yeah. <laughs> you may have one in your house, even. Yeah. Or see one at school. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Here. I'll help Here you get it out. It's Whoa. really big and heavy. Pretty heavy. <laughs> Whoa. 
This is so tall! Yeah! You know what it is? This is called a six foot hook! Whoa! <laughs> That's just what it is! Yeah, look, it's a little hook! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and this is really helpful for firefighters a long time ago. Yeah, because they would break a hole in maybe the ceiling, the wall, so yep. then they could put some water with the hose through the hole. Yeah. Break it and then spray in the water. Yeah, it also lets the smoke rise up out of the building. Yeah, because smoke and heat rise. Sometimes right. a firefighter might need to break a window so the smoke can get out and the fire doesn't keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ooh. wow. Whoa, that's really cool. It's really cool. <laughs> Here, I'll help you. Whoa. <laughs> There you go. Oh, and Mika, what's this? Oh, so this is where a driver would sit to help steer the back wheels. Yeah, this part is called the tiller. <laughs> yep, there are two drivers. Two drivers? One in the back to steer the wheels, and there's one in the front with the horses. Whoa, yeah. Did you know that a tiller ladder truck? Yeah, it was pulled by horses. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, we don't do yeah. that anymore. <laughs> yeah, no horses today. But nope. back then, they needed horses. Mm-hmm. Whoa. An engine. Wow, look at it. It's Whoa. so big, and it's the color red. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, and look here. Yeah. This is where the engine is. Yep. Whoa, this <laughs> it's is so, so big. Cool. <gasps> and look, Flippy. A bell and a siren. Hey, yeah, we've seen a bunch of those today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a really cool fire engine because, yeah, it didn't use steam or manpower pumping <laughs> the hose. <laughs> no, it uses gasoline. Yeah, the hose runs on gasoline. Yeah, there'll be an engine and yep. it would make the hose work. Whoa, <laughs> that's right. And if you look at the top here, Blippi, you'll see the hose. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> yeah, that's a big, powerful one. It's really strong Whoa. and a ton of water can come out of it. Whoa, yeah. There's a hose that a firefighter could hold, but if there was a fire really, really high up, <laughs> they could spray it with this giant sprayer. Whoa. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. Whoa. And what are these? Hmm, what are those? Hmm. Kind of hard? Wait a minute. Those are nozzles. Yeah. You're so right. That goes on the end of a hose. Yeah. So you can maybe spray a wider spray of water or a really narrow spray. Yeah. <laughs> so you can do whatever you need to put out the fire. Yep. That's so smart. <gasps> hey, we should pretend to be real firefighters. Oh, yeah. That sounds super oh, fun. Do you hear that? Let's go put out the fire. Okay. To the fire. Okay. Woo. Whoa. so much about firefighters, but <laughs> we should probably return our jackets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Wow. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> wow, and firefighters have been around for so long, keeping our neighborhoods nice and safe. Yeah, do so many things to help. <laughs> and they use a lot of equipment and gear. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Help put out those fires. Whoa, they're pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, firefighters, for being real life heroes and keeping everyone nice and safe. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, <laughs> here we go. P L I. P-P-I! So let me good job! <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? Awesome! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H! Mika! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon! Bye-bye! See you later! <laughs> hey! It's me, Flippy! <gasps> and look at what it is! Whoa! It's a real ice cream truck! And today, you and I are gonna learn about ice cream trucks. Woo! All right, now let's learn the parts of this ice cream truck on the outside. Whoa, it's so colorful. Whoa! And look, there's some ice cream right here. We have a strawberry shortcake, we have an ice cream sandwich, we have a drumstick, and we have a red, white, and blue ice cream. <laughs> Ooh, 
look at these. So cool. They're pink rims. So then the ice cream truck can drive around on the street. Sweet wheels and tires. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Huh, it says children slow crossing. It looks like there's lights. Let me show you. Wow. All right, you see this red knob? You pull it out and watch what happens. Whoa! These lights flash orange and the sign comes out from the ice cream truck. So then you know not to get close to the ice cream truck or at least just be very weary so then you don't get hurt. So we'll keep that out right now. <gasps> Let me show you something else. Ooh, you see this? This is a switch for music. <laughs> you hear that music? That means the ice cream truck is coming to you so then you can get some ice cream. Ooh, and look at right here some social media of this exact ice cream truck in Las Vegas, Nevada. Sweet! <laughs> oh, and look right here. Look at all these ice cream choices we have. Whoa, this one has the color red, orange, green. Oh, and look at this one. One of my two favorite colors, orange. Yum! <gasps> oh! A Ninja Turtle, oh, SpongeBob SquarePants, <laughs> and let's see here. Remember this one? Yeah, it's on the other side too. It's the Strawberry Shortcake. Yum! Oh, look at this. This is the window that you walk up to. <laughs> and this is where you order your ice cream from. Huh. Hello? Hello? Wait a second. No one's in here. Huh? I have an idea. Maybe you and I can go inside and serve some people some ice cream. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Ooh. All right, now let's hop in the back and serve some ice cream. But first, we need to turn on the generator. This is what provides power to the freezer. Let's turn it on. Whoa! It's like a mini engine that produces power to keep the freezer really cold. But the freezer is already cold, so we can turn it off. All right, let's hop in the back and serve some ice cream. Whoa! The inside of an ice cream truck. <laughs> so excited! Whoa! This is where the driver of the ice cream truck sits. It's just like a normal vehicle. A steering wheel, a shifter knob, a set of keys. <laughs> But we're not here for driving. We're here for ice cream. <laughs> wow. This big white thing right here, this is the freezer. Let's open it up. Whoa. Look at all this ice cream. All right, let's pick out five ice cream bars. Ready? Huh. All right. Okay, got one. One. Ooh. Two. Oh, here's one. Ooh. Three. Oh, whoa. 
Oh, over here. Four. All right. And let's see. Here we go. All right. Five. All right. Five. Let's shut this to keep them nice and cold. So right here, we have five. One, two, three, four, five. Five ice cream bars. But now we need three snacks. Hmm. Okay. How about some popcorn? <laughs> One. How about some, some chips? Two snacks. Oh, what else? Oh, yum! All right, three, three snacks. So we have five ice cream bars and three snacks. Five plus three is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yum! <laughs> All right, now we need to let everyone know on Twitter and Instagram where we are. All right. <laughs> We have cotton candy. Who wants cotton candy? Ooh, yum. You said it. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. We have an ice cream sandwich. That's me. Yum. Thank you. You're welcome. And a Hello Kitty. Thank yeah. You. You're welcome. All right. Enjoy the ice cream. Thank you. Bye bye. much fun learning about this ice cream truck with you. Well, this is the perfect time for the funny fun ice cream song. Let's make some ice cream that's yummy yum. Let's make some ice cream that's funny fun. Let's make some ice cream for our tummy tums. Let's make some funny fun ice cream. I like it sweet. Let's make some ice cream with strawberries. I like it sweet. With whipping cream and bananas, please. I like it sweet. Let's make some ice cream with strawberries. I like it sweet. Let's make some funny fun ice cream. Let's make some ice cream with chocolate sauce. Warm and gooey nuts and cherries on top. Let's make some ice cream with chocolate sauce. Let's make some funny fun ice cream. Some ice cream with gummy worms. Nom nom nom. Green, red, and yellow yummy worms. Nom nom nom. Let's make some ice cream with gummy worms. Nom nom nom. Let's make some funny fun ice cream. Nom nom nom. Let's make some ice cream that's yummy yum. Let's make some ice cream that's funny fun. Let's make some ice cream for our tummy tums. Let's make some funny fun ice cream. Let's make some ice cream that's yummy yum. Let's make some ice cream that's funny fun. Let's make some ice cream for our tummy tums. Let's make some funny fun ice cream. Yum! Ooh, look at what I have. This is some toy clay. And I'm acting like it's ice cream. But it's actually a toy. So be sure not to eat it. All right, see? This is like vanilla ice cream. <laughs> Yum! And this? It's like chocolate ice cream. <laughs> Ooh, and look, we have some ingredients. Ooh, like this? Yeah, some strawberry syrup. Okay, let's take off the cap, and here we go. <laughs> Yum! <laughs> Ooh, and look at this one. It's like chocolate syrup. Whoa. Oh, let's put some over here again. All right. <laughs> Yum, that looks tasty. And what we can put over on the chocolate ice cream is maybe some whipped cream. Yum, 
here we go. Oh, that looks tasty. Ooh, look at what we have over here. Some more, some more toy molding clay. I think this deserves a, a cherry on top. Okay, let's take some off right there. And then squish it, squish, 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 squish. <laughs> and let's roll it up. Ooh, that looks like a cute cherry. Let's put a little dimple up top. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's put it right on the chocolate ice cream. Yum! <laughs> that looks tasty. But like I said, be sure not to eat it. And this one looks like we have some blue and some orange. Blue and orange! My two favorite colors! Let's make some gummy worms. All right, let's take half of this orange, roll it out. Okay, ooh, look at that. An orange gummy worm. Put it right on top right here. <laughs> and then let's take the blue <laughs> and we'll make another gummy worm and put it right there. All right, roll it out. <laughs> ooh, look at that gummy worm. Let's lay it right there. And there we have two tasty looking toy ice creams. <laughs> Yum! Well, this is the end of this video. It was so much fun learning about the ice cream truck with you and listening, dancing, and singing to the funny fun ice cream song. Well, if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. I just finished writing a lot of invitations for a party next week. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I'm excited because I'm gonna make a really yummy dinner. <laughs> Can you guess what I'm going to make for dinner? I'll give you a hint. Hmm. It has a lot of toppings and can be made really big so a lot of people can share it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm going to have a pizza party. <laughs> and I know the perfect place that we can learn how to make pizza. Oleo pizza, <laughs> come on. This is going to be so much fun! I'll see you there! Hey! It's me, Plippy, and today we're here in our real-life pizza kitchen! Yeah! So we're gonna learn how to make pizza. Oh, I'm so excited! But first things first, we gotta put on our gloves. Here we go. One. And we'll put on another one. <laughs> Here we go. Great, we got our gloves on and we're all ready to make some pizza. Oh, hey, hey uh, what's your name? Hey, my name is Michael. Uh, hi, Michael. Uh, can you teach us how to make some pizza today? Yes, no problem. I want to teach how to make the pizza. Oh, okay. Okay, the first thing, you need to take the spatula. Okay. Flour. Okay. And this is the dough, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay, you need to put a, a little bit of flour in the top. You take it out the dough. And you put again in the flour, okay? Okay. After that, you need to split a little bit of flour in the, in the problem. You push a little bit, you take it out the, the air. Oh, After okay. that, you need to shape a little bit. Push it. Nice. <laughs> and you start Ooh. shaping. Ooh, it's so stretchy and stringy. <laughs> yeah. Shape it, shape it, shape it. Ooh. And when it's almost done, you need to put it again right here. Whoa. You're really good at making pizza, Michael. Yeah. After that, you need to put tomato sauce. <gasps> oh. This is the sauce. Whoa, look at that. Put a spoon. <laughs> you just put the shaver right here. Okay. Whoa. After that, you need to put the cheese. Okay, cheese. And this is a Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese, it's so good, yes. And this is a mozzarella cheese. Mmm, yummy. 
So and then fresh basil. <gasps> fresh basil. <gasps> you can't Ooh, it. So yummy. And the small pieces. <laughs> Make it nice. And a uh, cherry heirloom tomatoes. Ooh, tomatoes. Mm. After that, you need to put like olive oil. Okay. <gasps> and that's the pizza ready for the oven. <laughs> That pizza looks so yummy. <gasps> this pizza goes to the oven, okay? Yeah. <laughs> now, you wanna make food? yeah, can I make okay, a pizza no too? Okay. Here Here's we go. The flour. Take the flour. Put the flour on the top. Whoa. Take it out. <laughs> okay, take so, it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Nice. We put in the flour. We'll put it in the flour. Yeah. Play with the dough. <laughs> kind of sticky. Here we go. And we're gonna take it out again. Take it out. We should take it out the, the air. Yeah. Okay. We'll push all the air out and the bubbles out of the pizza dough. Whoa! Whoa! It's so stringy! Whoa! <laughs> so silly. Okay, here we go. Keep pushing out all those bubbles. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Keep doing it. Keep pushing it out. A little bit, yeah. You can flip a little bit. Yeah. Nice. Here we go. Whoa! It's starting to look just like a pizza. Whoa. This is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> Here we go. Nice. Whoa. A little bit more. <laughs> You're really good at this. <laughs> Whoa. You can put tomato sauce inside. Yeah. You can put Ooh. tomato sauce. Look at this. This is really yummy tomato sauce. Whoa. <laughs> okay, now let's put the tomato sauce on the pizza. Here we go. Whoop. And then we're gonna mix it around. Okay. Parmesan cheese. Nice. And now we have our Parmesan cheese. So yummy. Ooh. Put a little on there. And the mozzarella cheese. And we got some mozzarella. Oh, whoa. This cheese is really cool because it's in all kinds of shapes. Do you know what kind of shape this mozzarella cheese is? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's a triangle. Okay, so I'll put some of those little triangles and squares. Hmm, put some more squares. More squares. <laughs> Whoa, right, okay. After that, you need to put the basil a little bit. Some, some basil. Fresh basil. Fresh basil, yummy. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of basil. Yeah, <laughs> Olive oil on the top. And a little bit of olive oil, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> so silly. And that's the margarita bean, so you can put the tomatoes too. Okay, we'll put a couple tomatoes that have been chopped in half that are also really yummy. We'll put those on top. <gasps> and now, the pizza is almost ready to go in the oven. In the oven. <laughs> awesome. Well, really Michael, easy. thank you so much for Michael. teaching me how to make a pizza. <laughs> yeah, and thank you for helping me make some yummy, yummy pizza. <laughs> Good job. Now, let's go put these pizzas into the oven. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. <sighs> you, need to, you move a little bit because you sure you're not stuck in the field. Uh, you put in the oven. Whoa, it's really hot in this oven. <sighs> I can't wait for it to be all done. <laughs> Let's go put the other pizza Let in. Let me put the other one. Yeah. It's the same thing. <laughs> this. <laughs> Make sure the toppings is good. Whoa. Whoa. Look at it. Nice. There's a big fire inside this pizza oven. It's really, really hot. And, and it you helps wait to like cook the pizza. Seconds. You wait like 30 seconds after that, you can flip the pizza, okay? <laughs> Ooh. Well, now all we have to do is wait for the pizza to get done. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a pizza dance. Here we go. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> okay, it looks like the pizza is almost ready. Let's see. Whoa, the pizza almost done, almost done. is almost done. The pizza was really small, but because the dough has flour and yeast, when it gets really hot,
the dough begins to rise and it becomes a delicious pizza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun, learning how to make pizza at Oleo Pizza. It was so delicious. Hey, did you know that pizza originally came from Italy? <laughs> yeah, and it makes me really want to learn how to speak Italian. So I invited my good friend Francesca over. <laughs> I think that's her. Hello? Hi, Puppy. Hi, Francesca. <laughs> so excited to learn Italian. We just learned how to make pizza. Do you think you could teach us some Italian? Si, certo. Whoa, <laughs> that was Italian. <laughs> and I said, of course. Ooh, I'm so excited to learn. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. So first, maybe we should learn our numbers. Okay, let's count to five together. Okay, here we go. Zero. 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 <laughs> Uno. Uno. One. Due. Due. Two. Ooh. <laughs> Tre. Tre. Three. Quattro. Quattro. Ooh. <laughs> Which is four. Cinque. Cinque. Whoa. <laughs> five. Whoa. We did it. We counted to five. <laughs> okay. So we learned how to count in five to five in Italian. Maybe we can learn how to say our colors. <laughs> Rosso. Rosso. Red. Verde. Verde. Green. Ooh. <laughs> Giallo. Giallo. Yellow. Yellow. <laughs> and your two favorite colors. Orange and blue. Yes. Arancione. Arancione. Orange. Orange. <laughs> and blue. 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 Blue! Whoa! That was so awesome! But I still feel a little bit hungry. Hmm, maybe Francesca can teach us some food. Okay, so... Cibo. Cibo. Food. Ooh. <laughs> Aqua. Aqua. Water. Water. <laughs> Pane. Pane. Bread. <laughs> Torta. Torta. Cake. Cake! I love cake! Especially birthday cake! Do you like cake too? <laughs> awesome! <laughs> pizza? Pizza? Pizza! Pizza! <laughs> well, that one was pretty easy. Well, thanks so much for teaching us Italian, Francesca. You're welcome, Blippi. Hey, will you dance the pizza dance with us? Of course! <laughs> yeah! And you can dance along too! Let's go! I'm so excited to do the pizza dance with you. Okay, stand up and dance along with us. <laughs> yeah. Step into my kitchen for a very tasty treat. With saucy sauce and cheesy cheese, these flavors can't be beat. Your mouth will start to water when you see what we can make. A little piece of Italy, the most delicious bake. Grab some dough, roll that dough, and toss it in the air. Then take a scoop of saucy sauce and spread it everywhere. Don't forget your toppings, extra cheese, sure sounds nice. Open wide and take a bite of a warm, delicious slice. That was awesome! Woo! Great job! It was so much fun, Blippi. Thank you for having me here. Oh, it was so nice to have you. And thank you for dancing along and learning with us. Bye, Francesca. Bye, everyone. Bye, Blippi. Oh, that was so awesome! <laughs> we learned about so much today. How to make pizza, how to speak Italian. <laughs> it was great! Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, let's spell it together. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Lang Foundation in Los Angeles, California. And here, you can adopt a dog or a cat, and then they can be part of your family. Oh, there's a dog right there. Oh, hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, Megan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. This is Willow. Oh, hi, Willow. Oh, 
It's always important to ask before you pet an animal. Uh, can I pet Willow? Yes, you can. Okay. So just crouch down so you're on her level uh -huh. and put your fist out so she can okay. smell you. Willow, Willow. Oh, what do you think? Aww. <laughs> so sweet. Well, are there more animals inside? There are. Oh, let's go check them out. So what is this little one's name? This is Sprout. <gasps> Sprout! What a cute name. Hi, Sprout. I have some treats for Sprout. Is Sprout allowed to have a treat? Yes, he okay. is. Let's see. You want a treat? You think Sprout likes treats? <laughs> Aw. Can we bring Sprout down to the ground and yeah. see if Sprout will want to play with us? Aw. Whoa, cool squeaky toy. It's a pink snake. <laughs> so once someone adopts an animal, what do they need to take care of the animal? Yeah, so for dogs, they need a leash, a collar, a harness, um, food, bowls, uh, and a lot of toys. Whoa! Food, bowls, toys. It's a lot of work to take care of an animal. It they is. need a lot of things. Aww. And is it different for cats? Yeah, so cats would need um, also food, bowls, uh, litter box, litter, um, some good things to scratch on. Oh, yeah, cats love to scratch. And a safe <laughs> carrier in case you need to take them to the vet. Oh, wow. So you get a lot of things once you adopt an animal here. Yes. Yes, we give people some of the food that they've been eating, um, some toys. And where do you get all of these toys? They have so many fun things to play with here. We get a lot of it donated. If oh, people yeah? have extra supplies, they donate them to us. And yeah, it's a big help for us. Whoa, what a great idea to donate toys for these dogs and cats to play with. <laughs> oh, what's this toy? Where did these animals come from? So we rescue these animals from city shelters. Uh, basically, the shelters are crowded with animals, so we take them and find them new homes. Oh, that's really nice. And if someone wants to adopt an animal, what do they do? So we would have them come in and meet some of the animals. They'd fill out an application, and we would help them find the right animal that matches their family. Wow, that's awesome! It's so fun to play with cats and dogs, but it's also important to remember you have to take very special care of them. Whoa, come look at this dog. Whoa, what kind of dog is this? This is an American Bully Mix. American Bully Mix, whoa. This is a bigger dog, aw. And she's so loving, what's her name? Uh, her name is Lady. Hi, Lady. Aww. So, so sweet. What's this? A blue, like a little mouse with a super long tail. <laughs> Aww. This dog is so cool. Ooh, and I love the purple leash. One of my favorite colors. Love your leash. Oh, and what's on her belly here? Yeah, so she's definitely had a litter of puppies. Wow, a litter of puppies? That's so cool. How many puppies do you know? Um, I don't, but I think they can have up to 10 puppies. Whoa, that's a lot of puppies. Wow. Oh, well, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for playing with us. Melissa's ready for her bandage change. Okay, great. Aww. Hi. So what room is this? So this is our medical treatment area. Oh, a medical treatment area. So this is where animals go to be taken care of if they're sick or they have, maybe they hurt themselves. What's wrong with her leg? So we rescued her with a broken leg. Aww. And yeah, now she has a cast on and she's healing. Oh, good. That must mean she's feeling better. She definitely is. Yeah, I can hear some purring there. She's purring really loud. Yeah, cats purr when they're in a great mood, right? Aww. And why is she wearing a big yellow flower? She looks super cute, and yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so that's an e-collar, and it keeps her from taking her bandage off. Oh, that's so smart. 
and super cute. <laughs> are there other cats that we can see? There are. Oh, let's go see some more cats. Feel better. Cool. Welcome to the catio. Get it? Cat, patio, it's the catio. <laughs> now they said that there are a lot of cats in here. Hmm. Will you help me find them? <laughs> awesome. Okay. Whoa. Look at all this. It kind of looks like something you would see at a playground. The cats can climb up here and they can scratch. <laughs> Come over here. Shh. I see a cat. Can you see it? Oh, it's sleeping. We found our first cat. Good job. Hmm. Oh, there's another cat over here. You see it? Hi, cat. That cat looks really soft. <laughs> and there's another cat. Hi, kitty. Wow, so we found one, two, three cats so far. Wow. Hmm. Do you see any other cats? <gasps> Come down here, all the way to the floor. There are two cats in there. They're cuddling. <gasps> I wonder if they're best friends. <laughs> Hi. They're so cute. So we have one, two, three, four, five cats so far. I wonder if there's any more. <laughs> oh, wow. There's some water and some food in here. They take really good care of their cats. Hmm. Oh, look down here at these little boxes. I see some blankets in here so the cats can be nice and comfy cozy. Oh, and look, it's a cutout of a cat face. That's cool. I don't see any cats though, do you? Hmm. Oh, I see one right here. Oh my goodness. Shh. This cat is taking a cat nap. Wow, it looks really comfortable. I wonder if cats have dreams. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six cats. We found six cats. Thanks for finding cats with me. I wonder what else is here. Come on. Check it out. I'm in a cat room. This is where all the cats are hanging out, relaxing like this one. Whoa, hi, I'm Mika. This room is so cool. There's a tree in here. Whoa, I bet the cats like to scratch on the tree. Maybe they scratch their back on there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and cool thing is to climb on. Look, a little cat toy, a little mouse. <laughs> what else is over here? Whoa, do you know what this is? This long yellow tube? The cats can climb up here and then climb through the tube. Maybe you've done something like that at a playground before. They must have so much fun here. And in each little cubby is where the cat can go and have a little nap. Any cats in here? Oh, there's a cat in there. I didn't even know that. Hi. Oh, there's two cats in there. I don't know if you can see. There's two cats just hanging out. Oh, a teddy bear. I wonder if cats like to cuddle with stuffed animals. That's so sweet. Aw. Well, I have a cat toy. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Let's see if some of these cats want to play with it, okay? Um, <laughs> anyone want to play with me today? What about you? <laughs> this cat's like, Please don't bother me, I'm trying to take a nap right now. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, hey look, 
There's big bowls of water here because it's important for cats to hydrate. Just like us. Hey, something else that they can climb on. And look, these little holes, these little hidey holes that they can just get all comfy. Cats seem to nap a lot. <laughs> hey, Megan. Hey. Oh my goodness. Who oh, is this? One more friend for you to see. This oh is Memphis. Oh my gosh. Can I hold Memphis? Yes. He's eight weeks. Eight weeks? Just a little baby kitten. Wow, Memphis is brand new to the world. Oh, Wait, is Memphis from Memphis? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know how we got the name Memphis. Aww, it's a super cute name. So Memphis is only eight weeks old. What does Memphis usually do? Um, he plays with his two brothers. <gasps> You have two yeah, brothers? Yeah, two brothers. Oh, that's so fun. Wow, baby kittens are so teeny tiny. Aww, that's so nice meeting you, Memphis. Oh my goodness. You do such a good job taking care of all of these animals. Aww, thank you. Aww. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me hang out with you, Memphis. <laughs> that was so fun. Getting to hang out with dogs and cats today, we learned about how to take care of our pets and adopt them and make them part of our family. Oh, cats and dogs are so cool. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika, <laughs> well, thanks for learning with me. See you next time. Bye. Whoa. Whoa. Whee. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Hey, it's me, Flippy. Hi, and I'm Mika. Yeah. Today, we're at Ranch at the Pier. Mm -hmm. In Malibu, California. <laughs> yeah. Here, they have a lot of fruits and vegetables. Yeah, look at... Oh, these look really yummy. Yeah, look, a really small watermelon. Yep, and here's a really small lemon. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Ooh, and some really spicy peppers. <laughs> Very hot. <laughs> oh. Wow, all of this produce is making me a little hungry. Yeah, me too. Oh, look. Popsicles! Yummy! Whoa! Mika! Hey! Whoa! Hey, Julia! Hi, Blippi. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you! Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> so what's Mom and Pop Shop? So we sell all natural popsicles made with fresh fruits and vegetables. Ooh, that sounds good. They are. Do you want to try one? <laughs> yes, yeah. please! Oh, no! I'm so sorry we just ran out. They're so popular today. Oh. Hmm. Okay. What do we do now? Let me think. I got an idea. How about we go to the ranch and pick fresh fruits and vegetables and you guys make your own popsicle. That's a good idea. Yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Great, I'll meet you up there. Okay. Let's go. Isn't it? It's remarkable. Did you know that they rescued 150 animals and it's environmentally friendly? Wow, wow. 150 animals? That's a lot of animals. Yeah, it sure is. Yep. What does environmentally friendly mean? Well, nothing gets wasted at the ranch. So all of the vegetables that get sold at the pier, if there's any left over, they feed them to the animals and then the animals nutrients the soil and then the plants grow from the soil. Wow, cool. Very cool. Wait, so this ranch has fruits and vegetables? Hey, that's what we can use for the popsicles, right? Absolutely. So I have some baskets here where you could explore the ranch and get some fruits and vegetables okay. for your popsicles. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> but do you know who else loves vegetables? Who? The horses. What? Horses? Oh, yeah, go ahead and feed some horses while you're here. We Ooh. can feed some horses? That's so fun. 
fun. Let's do it. All right. Yeah. See you see later. You Thanks, Julia. Woo! Wow. I'm so excited to feed the animals. Me too. All Look right. At these beautiful horses. Wow. Hello, friend. How are you? My name's Flippy. Would you like an apple? Ooh, there a nice go. and healthy snack. All right, there you go. There's one behind you, Ooh, too, there Flippy. You go. Whoa! <laughs> Look. Wow. Whoa. Do you like carrots? Oh, yeah. There you go. I think that's a yes. <laughs> wow. Hey, Mika, look. Whoa. They even have alpacas. Hey. Whoa, they're Whoa. so cute. Whoa. <laughs> oh, there you go. Aww. Are those carrots yummy? Whoa. Wow, they're such healthy eaters. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. There you go. Oh, you should Still probably. Chewing. Chew and then swallow all your food before the next bite. <laughs> Whoa! Wow. Was that yummy? Yeah, I, so. I guess so. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun feeding those animals. Yeah. <laughs> now I think we can find some ingredients to make popsicles. Oh yeah, fruits and vegetables. Oh yeah. <gasps> Flippy, what? I have a great idea. What, Mika? What if we made popsicles for each other? <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, I can pick out ingredients that I know you'll like. <laughs> and I'll pick out ingredients that you will probably like. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's right. do it. See you soon. All right. See you later, horsey. <laughs> How beautiful this ranch is! <laughs> Whoa! And look at this plant. This is rosemary. <sighs> and it smells so good! Whoa, and rosemary is actually edible, so that means you can eat it. But rosemary, I don't think would taste very good in a popsicle, so I'm not gonna pick it. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Whoa! A lemon tree! Cool! Come on! Whoa, look at these lemons. Yeah, these are just like the ones that Mika saw at the pier. Oh, maybe I should pick one. And just maybe I'll add it to the popsicle. Oh, all right, let's see. Give it a little tug. Whoa, look at it. It's so cute and small. <laughs> and these are Meyer lemons. Yeah, they have a little bit of sweetness to them. Okay, I'll put that one right there. And then uh, let's see. How about this one, right there? Oh, perfect! <laughs> yeah! Wow, I love this beautiful garden. Look at all of these plants and trees. Hmm, I wonder if I can find a fruit tree so I can pick some fruit for a popsicle for Blippi. Wait a second, here's one right here. This is a strawberry guava tree. There's different kinds of guava, but this is strawberry guava, which is really yummy. Take a look. See, it's round and kind of red. Ooh, it's so yummy. This will be the perfect ingredient for a popsicle for Blippi. Oh, I can't wait to find more fruit and vegetables. Let's go. garden. It's so amazing. Oh, and do you see this net up here and on the sides? Yeah, that keeps all the critters and birds from eating all this delicious food. Whoa, and look at this. Do you know what this is? This is spinach and it's so good for you. Hey, maybe this would be really good in a popsicle. Yeah, spinach a lot of times is inside salads, yummy stuff like that. But popsicles also can have spinach in it. That is so cool. All right, that's probably enough. Let's see what else is around here. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is kale. Ooh, have you ever had a kale chip before? Yeah, you just take these leaves. Yeah, see that? That's a kale leaf. 
and then you put it in the oven. Whoa, and then it gets all crunchy. It's like a normal chip, but with kale. It's so healthy and so yummy. Hey, I bet this popsicle is gonna be the color green. Yeah, that's what we should shoot for. So then she'll have a nice, healthy, yummy popsicle. All right, one more leaf. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> wow, look at this fabulous garden. We are going to find some really good ingredients for Blippi's popsicle. Hmm, hey, these are beet plants. Beets are really cool because they're super healthy and they're yummy and they're really good for you. They're especially good for your heart. And they're a bright pinkish reddish color that will look really good in a popsicle. Now they're root vegetables, so they're underground. You have to hold on to the leaves and pull to get them out. Hey, look at that. A nice yummy beet for Blippi's popsicle. Hmm. There's so many different plants here and really cool that you can eat all of them. Like this little carrot. Ha. Hmm. Oh, look. One of my favorite fruits of all time, strawberries. See if I can find one so I can show you. Ah, here we go. A nice, delicious red strawberry. Strawberries are a really popular flavor of popsicles and ice cream because they're really, really sweet. Mm, should probably make sure that this is sweet enough for a popsicle. Mmm, it's perfect. Let's pick some for Blippi. <laughs> Woo, here's a good one. Oh, this is a really good one. Oh, this will be so yummy in the popsicles. Let's go make some yummy treats. Hey, Julia, look at what I got. Yeah, and tell me all about it. Well, I got some spinach. Perfect. Mm. <laughs> I have some kale. Yum. <laughs> and I got a lemon. Oh, what a cute lemon. <laughs> yeah, I really want to make Mika a green popsicle. That sounds amazing. There's not that many green popsicles out there, so I think you're onto something. Yeah. Here, let's get you an apron first. Oh, cool. Yeah. Check out my apron. Whoa, mom and pop shop. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Do you know any recipes we can do with a green popsicle? I do, I have one in mind. I don't think we need the lemon quite yet. Okay. But I think we could use some green apples. Ooh, yum, can I see? Yeah. Oh, check it out. Yeah, a green apple. Yeah, and do you know the other color of apples? Yeah, red. <laughs> cool. Awesome, and some green grapes. Whoa, green grapes. So yummy! <laughs> All right. And to add a little bit more sweetness, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say a ripe banana. Ooh, a ripe banana? But wait a second, it's brown. Yeah, that means it's super sweet. And oh. that's what you want in a popsicle. Oh, cool. So if your banana has a little bit of brown on it, that's okay. It's just gonna be more sweet and yummy. <laughs> yep. All I right. think it's awesome that you want to do vegetables in your popsicle. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the blender. Okay. And then we could just put all the fruits and vegetables in there. Just throw them all in. It's all a right. very powerful blender. <laughs> cool. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh, okay. That's nice apple. And then I'm going to add some liquid. So anytime you use a blender, you need some liquid. Okay. Or else it's not going to blend properly. Okay. All right. And what kind of liquid is that? I have some organic apple juice here. Ooh, yum. <laughs> All right. So excited. I wonder if these are actually going to be green. <laughs> All right. And it's going to be pretty loud. So are you ready? All right. I'm All right. ready. Three, two, one. Whoa. Is it done? It's done. Wow. It does look green. All right. It's going to love it. Yeah. Oh, do you smell that? Mmm. <laughs> Smells so sweet. Yep. All right, okay. so now we're gonna put the mixture in this pitcher so it's easier to pour in the molds. Okay. Wow, check it out. Whoa, yummy. <laughs> All right. And here are our molds. Oh, the molds. 
Yeah, I remember these molds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's what we use in our kitchen when we have our big machine. Yeah. But today we're just making some at home pops. So we're using oh. our nifty molds for at home. Oh, cool. At home pops. Here we go. Hey, do you want to count how many popsicles we can make with this with me? Mm -hmm. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, that's a lot of popsicles. All right, and then we just pour it in there? Yep. Would you like to do it or sure. me? Sure. All right. I'll, I'll do five and you do five. How's okay. That sound? Okay. And we get a little foamy. That's okay. Yeah. Now I will pour five as well. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Perfect. He's gonna be so excited to have such nutritious pops. Yeah. Okay, and that's the lid? That's the lid we put on it, and then we just put some sticks on it. Yeah, the sticks. Cool. All right, so every single one of these, you mm -hmm. put a stick in? Yep. Okay. And the great go. part is when you're done with your pop school, you could keep your sticks and maybe make a birdhouse or Whoa. any type of crafting. Yeah, or a marble machine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. So is it ready? That's all ready. Take it to the freezer. All right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Julia. Hi, Mika. Welcome Hi. to the kitchen. Oh, thank you so much. So, Ooh. What did you find? I have some really yummy ingredients for Blippi's Popsicle. Yeah. I picked some strawberries. Perfect. And I have some guava. Oh, how cute. <laughs> and I have beets. Beets. Yep, that's a very interesting ingredient. What do you think you're gonna make? Beats me. Good one. <laughs> I don't well, know. I just thought all of these ingredients would look really cool. Mm -hmm. They could be a bright red or pink popsicle in the end. Yeah, they're gonna look amazing. So beets are very interesting ingredients. So I think we're gonna have to make an original here. Okay. So first ever popsicle beet. Ooh, cool. So let's get your apron first. Okay, thank you. And let's just start cutting them open. Okay. I think what we're gonna need to do is use our juicer for this recipe. Oh, a juicer. So have you ever seen inside of a beet? Um, I think so. Yeah? Let's see. It's a root vegetable. Yeah, I love that color. Look at that. Go ahead and smell it. Check it out. It's really cool. Hmm, it smells kind of earthy, mm -hmm. but also kind of sweet. Yeah, it's mm. gonna juice real well, so. We're just gonna turn it on. And you can throw the fruit inside. Okay. I see some like blades spinning there in the middle. Yeah. The blades move on the middle and just kind of crush everything and, and there's a sieve so it keeps um, all of the fibers inside. Whoa, look! You can see it's pushing all of the juice out of the berries right into the pitcher. That's so cool. And let's see what happens when we add the beets. Whoa. It smells yummy. Thank you. Okay. There go the beets. Look at how dark it turns. Yeah. What a pretty color. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. I can smell it already. It does. And last but not least, we have our guava. Guava. And we can just toss the whole thing in there. Wow. Okay. There it goes. Ooh, you hear that? The <laughs> Whoa! This is gonna be yummy. Yeah. Whoa, that's a lot of juice. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the molds. All right, they're right here. Wow. So these are the molds we use at home. It's a lot of popsicles. Yeah. <laughs> Flippy's gonna love it. Oh yeah. Okay, can I pour? Go, Go ahead. ahead. Okay. Try it out. All right. Might get messy. That's all of the fun. Okay, now to the freezer. And once they're done freezing, you know what we could use? We use compostable packaging. What does that so mean? These bags are compostable. So here at the ranch, you know, everything's sustainable. We don't want to leave any trash behind. So these break down easily in the trash. That's awesome. Yeah. You are being so good to the earth. <laughs> we try to. All right, I'm going to put these in the freezer. Thanks, Julia, for good your luck. help. All right. Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, wasn't that fun, Mika? Yeah, that was awesome!
welcome. Yeah, I'm so excited to show you the popsicle I made for you. I'm excited to show you the popsicle I made for you. Oh, all right. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. Ooh, Flippy. Whoa. 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 Cool color. Yeah, I really like that green. <laughs> yeah, what's in yours? Well, I made a popsicle for you from Beast. Guava and strawberries. Ooh, yum. Yep. Well, I added spinach, Ooh. kale, apple, <laughs> grapes, what? and bananas. Wow, that <laughs> sounds yummy. Yeah, I bet you'll love it. Yep, let's yep. try it. All Here right. Here you go. Here you go. Thank you, Blippi. You're welcome. All right, let's see. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> That's really yummy. Yum! Good mm. job, Mika! Yeah, you too! Wow. Thank you so much! Thank you so much! <laughs> wow! Wasn't that so much fun making popsicles with the mom and pop shop? Yeah, at Ranch at the Pier! Yeah! <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Yep! Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I! -P -P -I. Blippi! <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Julia. See you, Julia. Bye, 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 Mika. Thanks for coming. Hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, I'm here at the Postal Museum in London, England. <laughs> and I am so excited because they have play areas, postal games, and even a mail train. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's go see what it's like to be a postal worker. Come on. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out. We're here in the Postal Play Place. <laughs> Whoa, this looks so fun. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> See what it is? The post office. Hmm, we should go inside and see if we can help send out some mail. <laughs> Ooh. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> looks like there's a lot of packages here and a lot of letters. Well, we want to make sure all the packages can be sent out, but we need to make sure they're weighed to see how heavy they are first. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> this one looks good to me. <laughs> no way, check it out. These packages are animals. Whoa, look, this package is a giraffe. <laughs> it has a really long neck. <laughs> well, this is a fun package to send. <laughs> and <gasps> no way. Do you know what kind of package this is? It's an elephant. <laughs> well, that's cool too. <laughs> a teacup? <laughs> well, that's pretty yummy. Hmm. Would you like some tea too? <laughs> Blippi tea party! Woo! <laughs> just kidding. It's just a package shaped like a teacup. <laughs> well, I think we can find a place to deliver this letter. Yeah. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> it looks like we're here in London. Well, little London. <laughs> yeah, there's all kinds of things in the city, like a house plant. <laughs> Whoa, and a comfy couch. Ooh, <laughs> look, oh, it's a red and yellow delivery truck. <laughs> oh, looks like the car wants to go to sleep. <laughs> it's so sleepy. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. A horse-drawn carriage. Yeah, it has one, two, Little horses. <laughs> Traffic jam! <laughs> well, let's keep looking for a place to put the letter. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. There are all kinds of blocks. Maybe we can build a giant British castle. <laughs> okay, let's see. Whoa, we did it. Yeah, you see it? It's so big. <laughs> yeah, what happens if I accidentally <laughs> knocked it down? Uh-oh. <laughs> and since we're here in London, can't forget 
the red phone booth. Ooh, let's see how many we can find. One, two, nine, 10, 11, 12. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, we found 12. That is way too many phone booths. <laughs> but good thing we still have our letter. Hmm. Hello, kitty cat. Hello. Meow, meow. <laughs> you see, it's a kitty cat. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Wonder where we'll go next. <laughs> Hello, double decker bus. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> oh, no way. I think I see where we can send our letter out. Okay, here we go. Let her away. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, oh, look. A red hat and hmm, a red post office vest. One arm and two arms. Woo. <laughs> Ready for work. <laughs> Whoa, that is a lot of mail to send. <laughs> well, good thing we're really good at delivering mail, so this will be easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> okay, let's get all the mail. Here we go. Okay, I got all the mail, but we need to pay for it, so I'll see you on the other side of the counter. Whoa! <laughs> that is a lot of mail. <laughs> yeah, and we can ring it up right here at the register. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, well, we paid for the mail to get delivered so that the post office workers and the delivery men can get paid too. <laughs> well, now we got to deliver all of this. Here we go. Whoa! Yeah! We did it! <laughs> now we just need to deliver all these letters. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here we go. This is a lot of work, working at the post office. <laughs> but it sure is fun because I'm with you. <laughs> Wait a minute, I almost forgot. We have all the packages, letters, envelopes, but they need to be sorted before we can mail them out. <laughs> oh, well good thing the sorting office is right over there. Oh, yeah. When we go in the sorting office, we can sort the mail. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, now let's deliver the letters. Ooh, see some houses. Wait a minute. This house is really tiny. <laughs> That's because, look, it's a mouse house. <laughs> Hello. Oh, look. There's a yellow house, a red house, and an orange house. <laughs> yeah, they have some pretty colorful roofs. <laughs> okay, here's your mail. One, two, three. Three letters delivered. <laughs> Whoa, but look at this. Hmm, this is a pretty interesting looking jacket. And, <gasps> whoa, it's a giant sack of letters. Huh, big bag of letters and interesting jacket. <laughs> we'll have to try it on. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> this is cool, <laughs> but, I wonder what this is all for. Hmm. Hi, Blippi. Oh, hi, what's your name? My name's Andy. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Andy. <laughs> well, we've been having a lot of fun today, but I've never seen a jacket like this before. So that's the sort of jacket a letter carrier would wear a long time ago. Whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> well, I love delivering letters. <laughs> and maybe we can pretend to be a letter carrier from a really long time ago with our bag of letters <laughs> and our cool jacket. <laughs> Well, do you think we could deliver some more letters? We have a challenge for you. 
A challenge? A postal challenge. Whoa, that sounds like fun. <laughs> We'd like you to deliver these free letters into three different post boxes around the museum. Oh, that sounds really fun. Well, we found some post boxes. I bet we can find some more. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. Oh, a real challenge. Postal challenge. <laughs> well, thanks, Andy. No problem. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> See you soon. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, I just can't wait to deliver these letters. <laughs> and I love the mail. But do you see where we are? <laughs> yeah, we're in a tunnel. Whoa, <laughs> this tunnel, there used to be trains. <laughs> I love trains. <laughs> yeah, all kinds. Diesel trains, electric trains, and steam trains. Choo choo. <laughs> yeah, and this is the train depot. Yeah, that's where trains would come to get fixed up. <laughs> yeah, if they were broken or just needed a tune up, they could come here to get all fixed. <laughs> Whoa, and I think I see a train over here. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> it's a train. It's a red train, but it looks kind of small. Hmm. <laughs> That's right. That's because this train track used to have mail trains. Whoa, yeah. Mail trains were trains that helped deliver the mail letters and packages too. <laughs> yeah, and this track used to go from Paddington all the way to Whitechapel in London. Ooh. <laughs> and it would help the letters and whatever mail needed to get delivered, get delivered more easily. <laughs> choo choo! <laughs> hmm. But wait a minute. Mail trains didn't have any seats for people. Yeah, that's because the mail trains were filled with mail. <laughs> but it looks like this train has chairs and seats. Whoa. Well, we need to deliver some letters. Maybe this train can help us deliver them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and do you see this right here? <laughs> it's a really big battery. So I bet this train goes really fast. <laughs> yeah, they used to be electric, but now battery power. <laughs> okay, let's get in the train. Can't wait to deliver these letters. Whoa, we're in the train. Well, uh, it's so small in here. Oh, I can put my letters there and <laughs> squeeze in right here. <laughs> Whoa, this is so fun. Yeah, traveling in a train underground. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, look at it. It's so old here. <laughs> I can't wait to deliver the letter. <laughs> oh, it's getting really dark. Yeah, the ceiling is so low because we're in a really tiny train. <laughs> yeah, we can imagine that we are a package or maybe a letter from a really long time ago. <laughs> this is fun being male. I think I see something up ahead. <laughs> Whoa, we made it to a platform. <laughs> Let's get out and deliver the letter. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun riding on the train. <laughs> and look at where we are. We're here at the mail station. This is where the mail trains get all their packages and mail. <laughs> This place is awesome. Check it out. <laughs> These are the mail train tracks. Yeah, this is the tracks that the mail trains would deliver the mail on. <laughs> They're so small. Well, that's because the mail train is really small too. <laughs> Do you see this part? Yeah, the tracks cross. Yeah, they make little X shapes. <laughs> that's because the mail trains sometimes need to change directions. So it's easy for the operator to move the trains around. <laughs> no way! An actual 1920s mail conveyor belt! <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Yeah, 
the male station is underneath the male sorting area. Yeah, it's kind of where they would sort all the mail and letters and things so that people would get the right letters. <laughs> yeah, it would go on this conveyor belt right here. Oh, check it out. <laughs> this is where the mail chute is. The letters would go down the chute, over the conveyor belt, onto the trolley, <laughs> and then onto the mail train. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> We've been trying to deliver a letter and look at what it is. It's a post box. <laughs> yeah, now we can deliver the first letter. <laughs> first letter, it says, hello from London. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, we did it. Whoa. Oh, hi, Andy. Hi, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. A red and green car. Well, Andy, what's this? This is our pneumatic train game. What you do is you turn the handle, that powers the fan, and then the air pushes the car up the tube. Whoa, that's amazing. So these are air powered? Yeah, these are powered by air. Whoa. Pneumatic is the word for that. Pneumatic. Whoa, that's a pretty funny looking word. <laughs> well, Wait a minute, Andy, there's a red car right here and a green car right here. One for you and one for me. Do you think we can race? We can have a competition. Okay, <laughs> shall we start? Are you ready? One, two, three, race! <laughs> Whoa, Andy, you won! Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, you're really good at this. <laughs> Well, it's really fun to play with some toy cars in a pneumatic tube, but I see this big picture here. It has a really big pneumatic tube. What's this? So this is a small version of a real life version they built on the banks of the River Thames in London a long time ago. Whoa. And it was designed to carry mail before the mail rail. No way. So these little cars, they weren't for people, they were just for mail? Just for mail. But this version could uh, uh, occasionally carry people. Whoa, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, we just rode the mail train. <laughs> but I guess before there was a train, they used these tubes, right? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty amazing. Well, Andy, it was so fun racing you with our pneumatic tube cars. <laughs> but I have some more letters to deliver. Well, thanks again so much. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Woo, let's go deliver some mail. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We're here in a traveling post office. Yeah, this was a train car on a big train. It's kind of like the mail rail, but it's not as small. <laughs> yeah, and you see right here, this is where a post office worker might sort all the different mail. <laughs> and look, there are letters right here. Oh, this one has an airplane on it. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. This one has a car. Honk, honk. <laughs> hmm. And this one has a little puppy dog. <laughs> oh, hey, I think it's a game. I think we need to sort all these letters into the right spots. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Puppy dog and puppy dog. <laughs> car and car. And airplane and airplane. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Look. Do you see it? The floor is moving. <laughs> I bet it was really tricky being a traveling post office worker. Yeah, because the floor would move so fast and the train would go so fast. And it would also be kind of noisy, too. <laughs> well, that reminds me. We have another letter to deliver. Hmm. Well, maybe we can put it in a post box. Ooh, I see one over here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> I think we need to get off this train. It's so bumpy. <laughs> Whoa! I'm having so much fun delivering all these letters. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Tubes! <laughs> Hmm, but these aren't just any tubes. These are pneumatic tubes. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, pneumatic means anything that uses air. 
Yeah, and a pneumatic tube used to help deliver the mail. <laughs> yeah, it used air kind of like a vacuum. At the end of the tube, a motor sucked out all the air, and then the mail would shoot through the tube. <laughs> yeah, it would travel in one of these canisters. Ooh, and it looks like someone wrote a letter already. <laughs> it says, Hi. Ooh, I bet Andy wrote this letter. <laughs> Hey, maybe we can send it back to Andy and say, hello. <laughs> okay, let's try. Yeah, you open up the tube here, put in the canister, and... Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and look, Whoa, it's gone. <laughs> hmm, that's pretty fun. It's a pretty amazing way for mail to travel. Ooh, but wait a minute. I have an idea. What if we wrote a letter to Mika and sent it through the pneumatic tube? <laughs> okay, let's try it. First, we just need a piece of paper and an envelope, a pen, ooh, and a tube. Oh, a canister for the tube. <laughs> okay, hmm. What should we write? Dear Mika, ooh, I hope you are having a great day. <laughs> I am having so much fun in London at the Postal Museum. <laughs> hmm. I hope to see you soon. <laughs> Your best friend, <laughs> Bolippy. <laughs> okay, then we just need to fold this up <laughs> and we'll put it in this envelope. Then we can put the envelope in the canister. Just open it up, put it in there. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> now we can send it to Mika. Hello, Mika, here you go. <laughs> Whoa, it worked! <laughs> That's gonna be a really long trip to Mika. <laughs> well, anyway, we have some more letters to deliver. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go see if we can find another post box. Hmm. Whoa, oh, <laughs> hey, there's one right here. And good thing we have oh, <laughs> our last letter. Yeah, letter number three. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, we did it. That was awesome! I had so much fun delivering letters, playing games, and learning what it's like to be a postal worker here at the Postal Museum. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, <laughs> ready? B-L-I. P-P-I! Blippi, good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>
<laughs> I can't believe we are so close to a basketball hoop that is shot at by the Indiana Fever. <laughs> oh, look, we have the hoop and the net, which hangs down. And look at the rectangle behind it. Yeah, the rectangle. That's called the backboard. And the shot clock. Woo! <laughs> I really want to play some basketball and make three-pointers and layups. Whoa! It's professional basketball player Tamika Catchings. Hi, Tamika. I Hi, Blippi. <laughs> ah, wow. Would you like to play basketball together? I would love to play basketball with you. <laughs> Whoa, that would be so awesome. <laughs> but Tamika, is there anything we should do before we start playing? Of course, we need to stretch. <laughs> okay, let's start stretching. <laughs> well, what kind of stretches do you like to do before you play a game? Well, I always like to start off with my legs. Hey, I want to get my legs warmed up, and then I want to get my arms warmed up. So let's start with a, a short stretch, a small stretch. We'll have both of our legs together, feet together. Okay. And we're gonna bend over from our waist okay. and try to touch the floor. Try to go as low as you can go. Whoa, look, I'm touching my toes. <laughs> and I love to count because counting is so important. So let's count to three. Okay, will you count to three with us? Okay, here we go. One, two, two three. three. <laughs> Whoa. Shake it out, shake it out. All right. Well, good job stretching. <laughs> Play defense, your legs have to be spread apart, a little bit beyond shoulder width apart. Bend your knees and your arms out. All right, and your bottom half. Here we go. You ready for this? I'm ready. Flippy, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> Here Whoa. we go. Here we go. <laughs> We're going to go side to side. Let me get over. We're going to go okay. side to side. Here we go. Cross the paint. Ready? Here we go. One, <laughs> two, let's go one more time. Three, whoa! <laughs> Three defensive slides, that was awesome! <laughs> I think we're just about ready to learn more about playing basketball. <laughs> but is there anything else we're missing? Well, looking at our outfit, we need to get changed. <laughs> you ready for this? I'm ready. Here we go! Whoa, Tamika, you look great! You look amazing! Whoa! <laughs> we look all ready to play with the basketball! <laughs> Whoa! Well, what should we do first? Well, I think we should. We'll start with dribbling, then we'll go to passing, and then we will finish with shooting! <laughs> yeah! Oh, I love shooting! Woo! I like Swish. that form, Blippi. I like that form. Uh -huh. Okay, so how should we dribble? Well, I think the most important thing, when you start with dribbling, you have to use your finger pad, not your palm, but your finger pad, all right? <laughs> so we're gonna do three dribbles with our right hand using our finger pad. Snap your wrist. You ready for this? Let's do it. All right. Here we go. One, two, three. Whoa! And we did it with our right hand, so now we should try it with our left hand. <laughs> okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Great. Oh, I love those drills. Okay. Love dribbling. <laughs> you want to try something a little bit fancy? Yeah. Let's try something really fancy. All right, <laughs> we're going to do this really fast, but we're going to do crossovers. So we're going to not just keep it in one hand. We're going to go from one hand to the other hand, other hand, other hand. Okay, we'll try it. Five times. Five times? Five times. <laughs> okay. Five times. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, four five. five. Good job, Blippi. Whoa! <laughs> Dribbling is so fun. Now it's time to move on to passing. I'm ready. All right, I'm going to step, step, bounce. Whoa. Step, bounce. Good job, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa, this is fun. <laughs> and notice when you dribble or when you bounce the ball, it does not bounce right directly in the middle. It's a little bit beyond the middle part. All right, so okay. got to come right up. Boom. One more, Blippi. One more. Good Whoa, job. That You're was fun. Go at this. <laughs> and pass. <laughs> okay, here we go. Step and pass over our head. <laughs> Good job, Blippi. Ooh. Whoa, I like this one. <laughs> you do? Why do you like this path? It's really fun. 
feels like there's a lot of power in your arms when they're above your head, and you can and pass it really you have far. Big muscles too, so <laughs> that is our overhead pass. Wow! So we did dribbling and we did passing. Hmm. What else did we forget? And we did defense. And defense. Shooting. Oh. <laughs> How can we forget shooting? Ooh, ooh, look at that form. All right, so I always like to say when I come to the gym, I want to start close. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start kind of close. All right, just getting the form together. Same thing, you talked about the finger pads on the dribble. Mm -hmm. We're almost going to do the same thing when we shoot. All right, so on the pad. Whoa! In the hoop. <laughs> Swish! <laughs> Didn't even use the backboard. Well, we're kind of close, so this is all about form shooting and okay. getting your form together. Ooh, can I try it? Of course you can. Okay, I'll try it over here on the left side. So, take my hand like this. Put it on your finger pads. There finger you go. Pads. And how should my arm be here? It should be 90 degrees. Okay. Got oh. the 90 degree angle? Yeah. And then you have your other, yep, right there. Oh, you just need... like an L. <laughs> That was Whoa. great! Good job, Ricky! Whoa, I made it! Well, what other kind of shots can we take? Hmm, well, you know what? Let's do a jump shot. So, if you okay. stay right there, I'll come up here and we'll do a jump shot. Most of the time when you get into a jump shot, it is about jumping. Obviously, <laughs> you gotta jump off the floor to shoot the shot. Okay, here we go. Are you First, ready? a chest pass. Whoa, swish! <laughs> Okay, and now it's my turn. Okay, here you you want to go on the same side? Yeah, I'm going to go on the same side over on the right. All right, you ready? Chest pass into a jump shot. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Uh-oh, I missed, but that's okay. We just need a little more practice. <laughs> Let's take one more shot. Okay. I think you can do it. You ready? Try it again. Let's go, Blippi. Are you cheering Blippi on? Come on, Blippi. <laughs> All right. Oh! <laughs> oh! It went in! <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> well, are there any other types of shots that we need to learn about? Well, I think it's important because not everybody gets to shoot out there. So sometimes you have to be able to shoot closer to the basket. I like the post up into a hook shot. Ooh, what's a post up into a hook shot? Well, most of the time, if you're one of the taller players, but even some of our guards get down here. We got the mean guards. <laughs> All right? If you get down, you take the ball, dribble, and a hook shot is when you take the ball over your head and hook it into the basket. Oh, All right? okay. Well, the ball goes into the basket. So then... Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that was really that good. Was awesome and great defense. I tried. I had my hands up. <laughs> Okay. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, you want to try it? So, for a hook shot, what's the first thing I need to do? Well, the first thing, so most of the time you're going to post up, right? So you're going to be facing that way. Good okay. job, all right? Facing, facing this that way? way? So then the ball is going to come to you. And I like to say, when the ball comes to me, I like to dribble, one dribble. You might need to do two dribbles. I okay. step with my left, my right leg comes up, and then I hook it in. Okay. All right, you ready to try it? I'm ready to try it. All right, here we go, Blippi. Let's go. Let's go, Blippi. <laughs> okay, first, I'll post up, and then I dribble two times, step in, and <laughs> hook shot. But again, I need a little more practice. <laughs> Let's try oh, it again. Your that's your first time, though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's my first time. So if you miss on your first time, that's okay. You can just try again. <laughs> here we go. Remember, post up, dribble, dribble, dribble step. Oh! <laughs> well, Uh-oh. Maybe I need a little more practice than two times. Wow! Tamika, you are a really good basketball coach. <laughs> well, we learned dribbling, and passing, and shooting, and I made a layup. <laughs> well, I think we're ready to play a game. Well, what do you think about playing horse? Whoa! I love the game horse. Do you know how to play horse? <laughs> well, it's a game where one person makes a shot. And if they make it, the other person has to make the same shot. <laughs> but if they miss, they get a letter. And the first person to spell the word, they lose. <laughs> you don't want to spell the word. Hey, instead of playing horse and spelling horse, let's play Blippi and spell my name. <laughs> ah, you know what, Blippi? You are so creative. I love that. <laughs> Thanks. Well, let's play. So I've also been thinking, you've been practicing all day. 
and you are looking so much better, I think you're ready for the big show. The big show? <laughs> Let's meet today's players. Why we just take the orange and blue food? Your friend, Lizzie! And the East Smith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, four-time Olympic champion, and Indiana Fever legend, Tamika Right side, right hand layup. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start on the right side and do a right hand layup. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> baby. Okay, there you go. All now right, it's Tamika's turn. Left side. Let's go off the backboard. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> that's a little tricky. <laughs> Left side, and now off the backboard. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Good job, Lupe! No letters yet. Let's keep playing. <laughs> All right, let's go for a free throw. Well, what's a free throw? Well, a free throw, a shot, right? It's a free shot that you normally get in the middle of the game. Oh. Somebody fouls you. Put your arm out, you're shooting. I shoot, you hit my arm, Ooh. the foul, I get to go to the free throw line. Uh oh, I made a foul. <laughs> Whoa, swish! <laughs> Tamika's really good at that. <laughs> Let's see if I can make it, because I don't want to get a letter. <laughs> uh, uh oh, <laughs> I missed it. So that means I get the letter B. Yeah. B for Blippi. <laughs> Good dribble. We've been working on it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I hope I make it. <laughs> oh, uh oh, I missed again. That means I get an L. <laughs> okay, here goes Tamika. All right, Blippi, we're gonna bring it in a little bit, okay? <laughs> Thanks. Try to make it easy. Off the backboard. Mm -hmm. If you can hit that, you know what a backboard is? Yeah, the backboard. That's that big rectangle behind the hoop. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Here we go. Good job, Blippi. Yeah, we made it. Wait, don't get a letter. <laughs> Woo. Maybe we can try a silly shot. Oh. Let's try behind the backboard. We can try it. I don't want to break the clock, though. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Don't hit the clock. Whoa! Oh, Uh-oh. I got a miss. I got to go after you. OK. Now I get to pick what kind of shot we make. Hmm. Maybe a silly shot behind the back. Here we go. Woo. Oh! Whoa! I made it. Oh, good job, that was a Blippi. really tricky shot. That was good. <laughs> OK. Here we go. Oh! Uh -oh. I got a B. <laughs> Okay, so Tamika has a B, and I have a B and an L. <laughs> okay, let's keep playing. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Tamika's really good at playing basketball. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's okay. It's okay to miss a shot, because you can just take another one. But that also means I get an I! B. L I. <laughs> How about underhand? We're gonna go to the NBA three-point line. <sighs> we're gonna go underhand though. Okay. Brandy style. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Here we go. <laughs> oh, a little bit too hard. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna try the same shot because it's a pretty tricky one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, I made it! Maybe we can make an even bigger shot! Ooh, maybe if we back up to half court, we can make a really, really, really big I shot! I like it! <laughs> okay, let's keep backing up. Here we go! Here we go, Blippi! Ah! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I missed! <laughs> this one is extra tricky. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready! Whoa! Whoa! 
<laughs> good job. <Ooh. laughs> You're getting good at this. Oh. Practice. Oh, well, you, you are a really good coach, too. <laughs> Oh, Whoa. no! Uh-oh! <laughs> I got a B L. A B L. And I have a B L I. Oh, it's getting really close. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> so we're gonna do a right-handed hook shot. Okay, a right-handed hook shot? <laughs> Whoa! But we're gonna get a pass from Boomer. Can I get a pass from Boomer? Yeah! Let's get a pass from Boomer! <laughs> Alright, Boomer. I'm open! Yes. Whoa! <laughs> Tamika made it! <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna get a pass from Boomer. Gotta post up, post up! <laughs> Whoa! Well, that looked a little bit different than my shot. Oh no, I forgot <laughs> something. Did I do a hook shot? Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> so I think I get another letter. I'll give you another chance. Ooh. Another chance? Yeah. Oh, that's nice of you. Yeah. Thanks. Post up. Okay. Ooh. And do you remember the kind of shot that I need to make? A hook shot. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, oh. <laughs> it was really close. <laughs> but I still get a letter. P. B. L. I. P. <laughs> Behind the backboard. Let's try it. Behind the backboard. I think we can get this one. You got it. Whoa! Wow! Did you see that? Whoa! Oh. Okay, now it's my turn. Oh! oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, I missed again. That means I get another letter. P, again. B-L-I-P-P. -P. Uh, we're still missing one letter. <laughs> Let's keep playing. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was great. Okay, my turn. Your turn. Let's go, Blippi! Oh! Uh-oh! <laughs> uh -oh. I get another letter! And that means B-L-I-P-P-I! -P -P -I. <gasps> Tamika wins! <laughs> uh, I think you look exhausted. You are sweating. We might need to take a hydration break. Yeah, let's take a hydration break and get some water. <laughs> See you soon! <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that was so much fun playing basketball and really tiring. <laughs> You're really good at basketball. You must have played for a really long time. <laughs> well, it takes a lot of practice. <laughs> well, when did you start playing? I started playing basketball when I was in third grade. Whoa. But I've been around basketball almost my whole life because my dad played in the NBA. Oh, your dad played basketball? <laughs> that sounds so fun. <laughs> my dad, my brother, my sister, my mom, and me. Whoa, that's great. <laughs> well, how did you get into basketball? Well, one of the main things, and one of the main reasons I played sports, I was born with a hearing disability, so I wear hearing aids. But when I was younger, I got made fun of. And so sports was where I could go and practice and practice and get really, really good at something so people couldn't make fun of me. <laughs> Whoa, that's so great and really inspiring. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's important to find your passion. Oh, basketball is my passion, and I know that all of you have your own passion. <laughs> oh, I have a passion too. I love to dance. <laughs> oh, and I do have one other question. If I wanted to get better at basketball, or maybe you want to become a professional basketball player, do you have any advice? I have a lot of advice, but I think the biggest thing is you have to set a goal. And once you set a goal, you have to practice, practice, and practice until you get tired. But even more importantly, that you have to make good grades. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds really important. Making good grades, practicing, and setting a goal. <laughs> do you know what a goal is? Yeah, a goal is something you want to do. And then you work really, really hard to do that goal. <laughs> Ooh, well, I had so much fun playing basketball and exercising with you. But do you know another way that is really fun to exercise? Dancing! <laughs> hey, Tamika, would you like to learn how to dance like me? Well, Blippi, I don't know. You're so good. But maybe I'll try my best. <laughs> okay, it sounds good. Let's learn to dance. Ooh. Okay, the first thing you need to know to dance like me is... Yeah, you gotta, gotta get warmed up. So, move around. Ooh. Ooh. Do some stretching. Oh, but we already played basketball and stretched, so we're all ready to dance. Ooh. 
The second thing is you want to move your body just however you want, and you can even do dance moves. Maybe, you know, jiggly arms. <laughs> or, since we're playing basketball, dribbly arms. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I'm dribbling basketballs! <laughs> wow, that's fun. <laughs> Are you ready to dance together I'm, for real? I'm always ready. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Time to dance! <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun dancing! <laughs> Great Whoa. job, Tamika! Thank you, Blippi! Yeah. I'm tired! Whoa. I'm tired too! Woo! I had a really good time with you today. Uh, I had a really nice time with you. Thanks so much for teaching me so many things about basketball and for being my coach. Oh, I don't know what to say. Uh, I might start blushing. Oh, <laughs> that's so nice. Oh, well, maybe we should try one more shot. You ready for it? I'm ready. All right, here we go. <laughs> you made it! <laughs> Whoa! I can't believe we got to play basketball with Tamika Catchings! <laughs> and we had a really fun day, learning about stretching and exercising and being really healthy. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great! B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. -P -P -I. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Look at what I just rode up in. Yeah, it's a police car. And today, we are going to learn about police cars. what it is. It's a police car. Will you come check out the parts of the police car with me? Yeah, come on. Ooh, look at this light bar up here. There's the red lights and the blue lights over there. And speaking of lights, whoa, look at the spotlight. Whoa, whoa. Whoa! It's so bright! <laughs> Ooh! And the front of the police car has this push bar. This is used to help push vehicles off to the side of the road that are broken down. And then down here, this is a speaker. Listen! You there, clear the road. <laughs> That was awesome! Ooh! And one of my favorite parts, the engine. This is where the car gets all of its power from. Ooh! And the oil. Will you check it with me? <laughs> Allergy season. <laughs> okay. Ooh, look. Yeah, the oil looks good to me. So let's put the dipstick back and let's shut the hood and let's head to the back. Ooh, and look down here. The wheels and the tires. Oh, and look right here. Two words, 
The first word is Olympia. O L Y M P I A. And the second word is police. P O L I C E. Olympia police. And last but not least, the trunk. There's some cool stuff back here. Whoa! Road flares. Ooh, a speed gun. And some cones. Even some caution tape. I'll show you this stuff later. But for now, it's time to dance. Inside the police vehicle with me? Yeah, come on! <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Now we're inside the vehicle! Look at this! Look at the switch, do you see it? I'm gonna push it all the way to the right, and those are the lights! Look! Whoa! Those are so bright. <laughs> okay, I'll turn them off now. Okay, I turn those off <gasps> and look at this. See, I just turned that on. That's the spotlight. Do you see it? Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's turn that off. And what else is in here? <laughs> Whoa. The steering wheel! Whoa! <laughs> and, um, ooh! The intercom. Hello, hello! I see you! It's Blippi! <laughs> That's funny. And, oh, speaking of noise and sound, look at this. This right here, this button. Listen. <laughs> yeah, that's the siren! Ooh, and the computer! <laughs> yeah! Woohoo! That is so cool! It's the Blippi Police Car song! Okay, and uh, I have some more fun stuff to show you over here. Come on, shut the door. in here. This is the patrol bag. There's so many cool gadgets and goodies in here. Whoa, like binoculars. Whoa, I can see so far. Whoa, <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, put those down there. Ooh, stuffed rhino. Wow. <laughs> A camera. <laughs> um, ooh, flashlight. Hello, hello. So you can see in the dark. Whoa, first aid kit. Ooh, and handcuffs. So cool! <laughs> I like handcuffs! Okay, let's try it on. Put it on. Oh! Now that you have handcuffs on, you can't get them off! <sighs> but luckily, whoa! I have a set of handcuff keys. Put that right there. Do a little twisty. And then I got them off! It's like magic! Okay, let's put these back. Ooh, and last but not least, every police officer has to have a pair 
of sunglasses. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm a police officer. <laughs> Gang, check out this. This is where you put the suspects. Whoa, the door doesn't even have a handle on it. And the seats are plastic and really uncomfortable. <laughs> Whoa. 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 <laughs> I don't like being back here. <laughs> and no handles are like child safety locks, but for adults. <laughs> hey, this is a speed measuring device. It uses a laser to bounce off a car and come back. And it'll tell me how fast someone's going. We're out here on a street corner looking for speeders. There's one now. going way too fast. Let's go get him. Well, hello there, officer. Sir, I need to talk to you about your speeding. Ooh, I'm sorry. What can I say? Heavy foot. <laughs> Well, I'll give you a warning for today, but we're okay. just out here trying to keep everybody safe. All right, thank you. Speaking of that, ooh, we're looking for this person. Have you happened to seen him? Oh, nope. That gentleman looks like he's wearing glasses. I sure don't. Oh, you're right. Well, let me give you this. Okay. Call us if you see him. Okay. Drive safe. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, that was a close one. <laughs> Let's look at what's inside the back of the police car a little bit better. Hmm, Woo. look, we have a police officer's hat. <laughs> and, yeah, a safety vest. Oh, and it's bright yellow. Look at it, wow, okay. Nice bright yellow safety vest. <laughs> How do I look? Okay. Oh, and I got my hat on. And oh, look. Four orange road cones. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ooh, and look. A road flare. Wow. Put that in my pocket. <laughs> and road spikes. Okay, set those down. Let's close the trunk. Okay, first things first. Ooh, road spikes. Take a close look at these. Wow, look at that. Whoa, those are sharp. Okay, let's put this right there. Put this over here. <laughs> okay, ready? Watch this. Okay, we're gonna set up this traffic course for the police car. And the police car is gonna make sure it doesn't drive on these because these are really sharp. Take the four road cones and put one right here. Come on. <laughs> and let's put the second one right there. One, two. And let's put the third one right here. One, two, three. And we got one more. Come on! Okay, how about right here? Ready? Yeah! One, two, three, four! I almost forgot my favorite part, the road flare. Whoa! Okay, this 
is not a toy. Not for kids, so here we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's put it down right here and let's start this course. Barely missed the spikes! <laughs> Good job! That was so much fun learning about police vehicles! Now it's time for the police car song! Dial 911 and the police will come driving in there. That was really fun singing, dancing, <laughs> to the police car song with you. Hey, I have something really important to tell you. You are very special. You are an amazing child. I am so excited to see what great things you do on our planet by making it a better place and helping people out. Last but not least, thanks for being my friend. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I gotta go now. But if you want to hang out with me some more, you know how to find me. Yeah, just search for my name. You know my name, right? Yeah, it's Blippi. B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi, that's my name. Good job. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and today we're here at Silicon Beach Pediatric Dental in Culver City, California. <laughs> this is the dentist's office, and today I'm going in for my checkup. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Whoa, I am so excited to get my teeth clean. <laughs> yeah, here at the dentist, the dentist makes sure your teeth and your gums and your whole mouth stay super healthy and clean. 
Well, I brush my teeth and I floss two times a day. But it's good to go to the dentist for a checkup and a cleaning <laughs> to keep your teeth extra clean <laughs> and extra healthy. <laughs> hi, Blippi. I'm Dr. Ray. Oh, hi. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Are you ready for the tooth party? <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. You said tooth party? Tooth party. I love parties. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Whoa! I'm ready for the tooth party. Whoa, and who's this? This is Danny the dinosaur. Oh, hello, Danny. <laughs> Whoa, and it looks like Danny has some teeth. Hmm. Is Danny going to get his teeth cleaned today? We're going to use Danny to teach you how to brush your teeth. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Hmm. So if you look, Danny has teeth just like you. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. And we have this toothbrush so we can learn how to brush our teeth. Whoa, look, that's a really big toothbrush. <laughs> well, probably because Danny has some really big teeth. <laughs> and when you brush your teeth, you have teeth on the top and teeth on the bottom. You have teeth on the left and teeth on the right. And when you brush, you have to make sure you brush the outside and the inside. So let's do a little brushing with Danny. Okay. I like to count to 10 when I brush teeth. So in the front, we'll count to 10. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Cool. And are you done? No, because you've got to brush the back ones too. The back teeth are called molars. So Ooh. let's brush our molars. Ooh. So in the back, you got to brush the outside and the inside. You got to brush the top ones and the bottom ones. And don't forget about the right side. Whoa, We're going to brush those too. And Dr. A, you said the back teeth, those are called molars? Back teeth are called molars. Oh, and what are the front teeth called? The teeth in the front are called incisors. Incisors. Ooh, <laughs> try saying that with me. Incisor. Whoa, <laughs> good job. Wow. So after you've brushed, you still have one more thing to do that's really important, and that's flossing. <laughs> yeah. So don't forget to floss because the sugar bugs like to hide in between your teeth. Oh, the sugar bugs. <laughs> you want to make sure you floss those out. <laughs> so when you take your floss, you go in between the teeth very carefully, very gentle, mm -hmm. and you clean all the food from in between your teeth. So oh. don't forget to floss. Oh, and does that help keep your gums healthy? It keeps your gums healthy, it keeps your teeth healthy, and it keeps you from getting any cavities. Whoa, that's great. Yeah, you don't want cavities, so you want to remember to brush and floss. <laughs> And part of going to the dentist today, Blippi, is we're going to count your teeth. So we're going to use Danny, and he's going to show us what I see as the dentist. So you can see too. Woo. So we're going to count Danny's teeth on the top. Let's do it together. Okay. This is the dentist mirror, and we're going to count here. Count with me. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10! <laughs> yeah, whoa, good job. <laughs> so Danny <Whoa. laughs> has 10 teeth on top. Whoa, that's a lot of teeth. <laughs> whoa, that's so cool. And now Danny has a really nice smile. Whoa, <laughs> check it out. Now that I'm sitting down, I'm ready to get my teeth cleaned. <laughs> so Blippi, we're gonna brush your teeth, but first I'm gonna show you everything we're gonna do before we do it. Oh, that's great, thank you. <laughs> so this is the thirsty straw. This drinks the water. Ooh, but when yeah. you turn it on, it makes a little air noise. So it's not scary, it's yeah. just a little air. You want to touch it? Yeah, you hear that? Ooh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then to rinse your teeth, we have the water squirter. This is the water squirter and it squirts a little water. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> whoa. <laughs> and then for brushing teeth, we have the Profi motor. This is like an electric toothbrush. And if you whoa. feel it, it's really soft. Oh, yeah, it's so squishy. And you said this is called a Profi motor? A profi motor. Whoa, that's so cool. Yeah, just like a toothbrush. <laughs> and when you turn it on, it makes a little motor noise and it tickles your finger. <laughs> so feel it, it's soft. Whoa, <laughs> it's so ticklish. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> so before we start, you get to pick what flavor toothpaste you want. Ooh, we get to pick the flavor. Hmm, but what flavor should we pick? It looks like watermelon, candy, chocolate. Hmm. Cake or cupcakes, <laughs> grape, and mint. Hmm. I think I'll go with mint. Hmm. <laughs> so now we're gonna lean the chair back. It's just like going on a spaceship, and we're gonna Whoa. count your teeth, and then we're gonna brush your teeth. Whoa! 
feel like I'm getting ready for takeoff. Three, two, one, teeth brushing takeoff. <laughs> so this is my mirror and we're gonna use it to count your teeth just like we did Danny's. Oh, okay. Do you wanna start on the top or the bottom? Hmm, let's do the bottom teeth. <laughs> let's count the bottom, open big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Looks great, Blippi. Whoa, 14 teeth on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Now let's count the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 on the top. Great Whoa. job, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa, that's awesome. 14 on the bottom and 14 on the top. Hmm, that means 28 teeth? 28 teeth. Actually, Blippi, if you include the wisdom teeth, you have 32. That's Ooh, great. That's a lot of teeth. <laughs> so this is the electric toothbrush and now we're gonna brush your teeth. Ooh, <laughs> this is gonna be fun and really minty. <laughs> and here's your toothpaste. Oh. And we're gonna brush your teeth. Oh, check it out. Yeah, the toothpaste comes in a little cup right there. Whoa. So the electric toothbrush scoops up the toothpaste and then we can brush your teeth. Here we go. Uh. <laughs> Blippi, remember, part of taking care of your teeth and avoiding cavities is eating healthy. So you always want to eat lots of healthy things like fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. Don't eat a lot of sticky things because the sugar bugs like that. And remember, when you're thirsty, always drink lots of water. Great job, Blippi. How do your teeth feel? Whoa, they feel so clean. <laughs> okay, that's it for the cleaning. Your teeth look great. Oh, well, thank you for cleaning my teeth, yeah. And they also feel clean, they feel great. <laughs> so no cavities today. You have 28 teeth and they look beautiful. Oh, thanks, yeah. It's good that I don't have cavities, but what is a cavity? A cavity is a hole in your teeth, and they're caused by sugar bugs. Sugar bugs in my teeth? <laughs> we all have little bacteria that live in our mouths, and some of them are called sugar bugs. Ooh. And sugar bugs like to make a hole in your teeth. Oh. So that's why you brush every day. You don't just brush the food off your teeth, but you clean all the sugar bugs too. Whoa, that's really important to brush and floss all those sugar bugs away. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> there are so many colorful toys here. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Dr. Ray, do I get to pick one of these? Lippy, you did a great job today, so you get to pick a toy. Whoa. <laughs> we have balls, ice cream cones, airplanes, and a bunch of other great things. What do you want to get? Hmm, I don't know. Well, look, <laughs> these sure are colorful. Whoa, and look, a really squishy soccer ball. Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty fun. Whoa, and look at this. Whoa, look, it's a toy snake. Whoa, <laughs> look at him go. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, mm, he's pretty cool. Mm. Ooh, I think I'm gonna choose the blue ice cream cone. And I have one more special thing for you, Blippi, so you can take care of your teeth at home. I have a toothbrush and some toothpaste and some floss for you, so you can do it every day. Whoa, no way, my very own toothbrush? toothpaste and floss. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Oh, and look, also the color blue. <laughs> uh, well, thank you so much for cleaning my teeth and for making sure they were nice and healthy. <laughs> thank you, Blippi, you were so brave. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't have any cavities. Woohoo! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. See you in six months, Blippi. Ooh, bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll have to come back in six months for another checkup. Whoa, that was awesome! No, 
Somebody wants a toothache So wet your toothbrush and get your toothpaste Put on a dab about the size of a pea Now get your toothbrush ready and follow me! Let's pretend to brush our teeth for two minutes <laughs> Make sure you brush your teeth really well Let's make some circles, 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 circles Circles on all sides of your teeth Circles on this side, circles on that Circles on the top where you chew on snacks Gotta get rid of all that whack There are germs living in your mouth Gotta get them out! And that's why we brush our teeth Come on, brush those teeth Go on, scrub them clean Come on, make those pearly white shine Okay, we're halfway there Keep pretending to brush Let's make some more Circles, 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 circles Circles on all sides of your teeth Brushing makes your breath smell super nice Gotta make your smile as white as rice Oh, I love brushing my teeth Oh, don't forget to brush your gums And don't forget your tongue! Bah! Now we are almost done Let's brush front, back, side to side Front, back, and side to side Everybody, front, back Side to side, front, back, and side to side. Come on, brush those teeth. Go on, scrub them clean. Come on, make those pearly white shine. Come on, brush those teeth. Go on, scrub them clean. Come on, make those pearly white shine. Oh, we love brushing our teeth. To floss too. <laughs> hey! I had so much fun at the dentist today. <laughs> yeah, we learned so many things about teeth. <laughs> and I even got my teeth cleaned and looked at by the dentist. <laughs> oh, and Dr. Ray, he was so nice and friendly. <laughs> Whoa, and look, I even got some things to take home. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey! You spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Oh, and one more thing. <laughs> Don't forget to brush and floss every single day. <laughs> see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>would you like to play a game? Sure, Blippi. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's play a game of I Spy. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, okay, I'll go first. Go I spy with my Blippi eye something brown and barky. Ooh. Hey, is it the tree trunk? <laughs> yeah, it's the bark <laughs> on the tree trunk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And me, Yamika. And today, we're here at Tree People in the Santa Monica Mountains. <laughs> Ooh, we're going on a nature hike. Yeah, and we're having so much fun, enjoying the sunshine, oh, and the fresh air, and the really tall green trees. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. Okay. I spy with my Mika eye something big and blue. Oh, something that's big and blue. <laughs> hmm. Do you see something big and blue? <laughs> yeah, that's right, it's the sky. That's right. Oh, hello sky. <laughs> okay, my turn. Go. I spy with my blippy eye something red. Hmm, something red. <gasps> hey, is it this flower? <laughs> yeah, look, it's a red flower <laughs> bud. Aw, yeah. Aww, so pretty. Hasn't bloomed yet. No, not till the spring. <laughs> then it will be a beautiful red flower. What a beautiful day! Blippi, did you know that today is Earth Day? I didn't! Hmm, I 
wonder, how do you celebrate Earth Day? Let's sing a song and find out. Look at what it's worth to live on planet Earth. It's the place that we call home. Yeah, it's pretty great. With the buzzing of the bees, the wind blowing through the trees. It's the place that we call home. And, and we, we must, must protect, protect it so the plants can grow. So, Blippi, what can we do to help the Earth? I'm glad you asked, actually. Hit it! Instead of throwing this away, we can make it into a house where a bird can stay. Tweet, tweet, little birdie. Here's a new home for you. <laughs> Wait! Before you throw that in the trash, give it to me, and in a flash, I'll, I'll fix, fix it up for you. It's brand new. Helping Earth is what we have to do. And it's the home for you and me. Planet Earth is the place to be. we do to protect the earth? We can sort the trash into different bins. Bottles, cans, and cardboard. Yeah, throw them in. Sort them out. Recycling is what it's all about. Woohoo! Don't forget the buzzy, buzzy bees. We need them to pollinate the flowers, don't you see? So the plants can grow. Come on, little bees, this way. <laughs> when it's the home for you and is the place to be. Come on, everyone, join the Planet Earth Party. It's the Planet Earth Party. What are you doing, Mika? I'm planting a tree. See, the world is full of plants, flowers, and trees. Yeah. The plants help the Earth breathe. <laughs> Blippi. Exactly! We share our home with so many different animals. And we need to keep the Earth healthy and happy so all the animals can be happy and healthy too. From the elephants on the savannah to the polar bears at the North Pole the monkeys in the jungle yeah we all call the Earth our home when it's the home for you and me. that we call home. <laughs> well, that was so much fun singing. Thank Thanks you. for dancing along with oh, me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but after all that singing and dancing, I'm definitely in need of a snack. Oh, look, there's a picnic table over there. Whoa, let's go eat a snack there. OK. <sighs> Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> well, what snack should we eat, Mika? I have some fruit in my jam pack. Well, I love eating fruit. Yeah, I especially love fruit because it's an always food. Yeah, you can always have a healthy snack by eating some fruit. Mm-hmm. Look at this bright red apple. Oh, and I have a bright orange banana. Wait a minute. Orange? <laughs> it's a yellow banana. Yeah, <laughs> one silly. of my favorite colors. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, this definitely is going to be a tasty snack for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, got to just peel it. Mm -hmm. and then take a bite. Oh, how's your apple? Delicious. <laughs> how's your nana? <laughs> yeah! That is so yummy and sweet. <laughs> I certainly love eating yummy fruits and vegetables. Me too, especially with my best friend. Do you like to eat fruits and vegetables too? <laughs> awesome! <laughs> well, Mika, mm -hmm. when we're done eating, we're gonna have some leftover food scraps. We should mm -hmm. probably find a place to put them. I don't see any place nearby. Yeah, we don't want to litter and just throw them out in nature. Mm -hmm. We need to find a place to put our banana peel and our apple core. Mm -hmm. hmm. Maybe we can keep going down the trail and we'll find somewhere. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. 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 Okay. Keep 
going down the trail, <laughs> eating our yummy snacks, and keep on the lookout for a place to put our scraps. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, Mika! Look at this! Whoa! I wonder what it is. A trash can? Mm, maybe, but it doesn't quite look like one. <gasps> hey! Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's a triangle! It's two triangles. Oh, oh yeah, it is. One, two! Oh, hi! <laughs> I'm Blippi. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> hi, I'm Hillary. I'm an eco-educator here at Tree People. Ooh, oh, Hillary. Nice Hillary. What is this triangular thing? Yeah. That's a great question. This is actually two different types of soil. Whoa, yeah, check it out. Look, looks like there's some sandy soil in this one mm -hmm. and some mushy green brown looking soil in this one. <laughs> <laughs> so one of these sides is actually sick soil. Can you guess which side is our sick soil? Uh, mm. this side? Um, you're close. It's actually this side. Oh, yeah. Well, you think we need to take that dirt to the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> this side is our sick city soil because it doesn't have a lot of nutrients in it. Oh, oh. yeah. Look, there are some concrete blocks on the top. That probably is not too good for the soil. No, no that actually represents our sidewalks in the city. Oh, Ooh. and what about this one over here? So this is our healthy soil. That's the type of soil you're gonna see out here at tree people or around on hikes. Yeah, Ooh. look, there's some leaves, mm -hmm. <laughs> hang on some bark, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's definitely green looking. Yeah, it looks oh. nice and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hillary, we also have some food scraps from our snack and we were wondering what we should do with them or where we could put them. That's a great question. You can actually put that in something called a compost bin. Oh, what's a compost bin? That's a great question. When you add your fruit and veggie scraps to a compost bin, it breaks down and it adds nutrients to the soil. Ooh. Wait, so putting our banana peels and apple cores in a compost bin, it would make the soil really healthy like that. Yes, exactly. Whoa. We eat it and get healthy, and then we make the soil healthy. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> Actually, you guys should follow yeah? me up the hill. I know somebody special who can help you compost your food scraps. Oh, that sounds fun. That sounds so fun. Okay, we'll follow you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to go check and see if the dirt doctor is in. Okay, okay. see you soon, Hillary. <laughs> Whoa, hi, Dirt Doctor. Hey. <laughs> Wait a minute. You look awfully familiar. Well, anywho, it's nice to meet you. Well, why don't you guys follow me? Okay. Whoa. What's all this? These are all the ingredients that we need to make our compost. Oh, whoa, yeah. It looks like you have an awful lot of cool things here. Oh, and can we add our food scraps to the compost? Yes, you absolutely can. We need half parts greens and half parts brown. Do we have enough? You know, I think we actually need a little bit more of both. Mm. Okay. Well, I think we can go find some. Okay, sounds <laughs> great. Okay, we'll put our food scraps here and be right back. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> well, Mika, what do you want to try to find? Some twigs. Ooh, and maybe I'll find some green leaves. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> perfect. Oh, and look, there's some green leaves here. <gasps> oh, but we should pick from the ground. Yeah, we don't want to hurt any of the trees or plants nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, and look at all this. <laughs> yeah, all these green and brown things would be great to add for the compost. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, it looks like we got a lot of leaves and twigs and organic things. Ooh, <laughs> oh, some so, berries too. Oh yeah, let's take this back to the dirt doctor. Ooh, ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We brought it back to our doctor. Okay, sounds great. Why don't we start off with our greens? Okay. All right, well, how about on the count of three, we do our food scraps and our green leaves, and uh, let's do a rainbow toss into the bucket. Great. Okay. <laughs> All right, ready? One, two, three. Rainbow! <laughs> Well, what do we do after we add all the green things? To now we got to add our browns. So oh. why don't we do a little bit of all of the browns that we have? Okay, well, we have an awful lot of leaves. Yeah, can <laughs> you, you pass me some? Yeah, there Thank you go. Thank you. And I'll grab <laughs> some bark and some twigs. <laughs> all right, great. Now, on the count of three, I want you guys to do a slam dunk into Ooh. our bucket. Compost basketball. Let's all right, <laughs> ready? One, two, three. Hey. 
<laughs> yeah. You did it. Well, what do we add now? Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of water so that we can have some moisture in our compost bin. And why don't we mix this up? Can I stir? Of course. <laughs> yeah. Stir, stir, stir. Well, that's stir a good up. mixer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And it looks like that water is helping to break it down, right? Exactly. And in two to three months, this is going to break down into a soil that's our compost. Whoa. And then what do we do? use the soil for? That's a great question. You can put it in your gardens and you can give it to your trees and your plants. Yeah, oh. so they can grow big and strong. Speaking of plants, maybe we could uh, plant something? Yeah. Well, I'd love to plant something. Actually, I have something for both of you. Oh. I have white sage, which is a native plant. <gasps> wow, check it out. This white sage is so beautiful and the leaves are kind of fuzzy. <laughs> well, I would certainly love to plant these white sage with my best friend, Nika. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Dirt Doctor. It was really nice learning about so many things from you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we'll see you soon, okay? Okay, sounds good. Thanks. Bye, Sal. Bye, <laughs> I mean, dirt doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I can't wait to plant our plants. There you go, oh, Mika. I have an idea. Oh, let's name our plants. Whoa, that's a great idea. Well, Mika, what are you going to name your white sage? Mmm, buttercup. Buttercup? <laughs> oh, I like that name. Thanks. I'm going to name mine. Charlie! Oh, Charlie and Buttercup. Aww. I hope they're very happy here. Yeah. Well, Mika, these are actually native to California, oh. which means they're from California. <laughs> uh-huh. That means they can grow in California even if it's dry and hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to grow nice and big and strong. <laughs> Aw, this is so great. Well, I think oh. mine's looking pretty good. Yeah. Yours looks good, too. Let's put this flag here so we know that Buttercup and Charlie live here. Yeah, we don't want anyone to step on them, and we want to remember where we put them. Yeah. <laughs> well, this was so much fun celebrating yes, Earth Day. That was <laughs> awesome meeting the dirt doctor who taught us all about composting. Yeah, and what healthy and not so healthy soil looks like. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for our names. <laughs> hey, can you spell our names with us? Okay, here we go. Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, we'll see you soon. <gasps> Happy Earth Day. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. It'll make you wanna shout Whippy!